Hi, welcome. It's time for The Vault Boys, a sister podcast to Atomic Radio Hour, the post-nuclear podcast, a show that dives into the wreckage that is post-apocalyptia, a Fallout-themed podcast. This is The Vault Boys, a show about Amazon Prime's Fallout series, a companion piece, a watch-along series. If you like Fallout on Prime, if it is something that you enjoy and you want to know more about the world that is Fallout, I consider, I think you should consider not just watching this podcast, not just listening to this show, or the first part that came out before this one, but check out Atomic Radio Hour. Like I said, the post-nuclear podcast. It's a weekly Fallout-themed podcast where we talk about a piece of lore every single week from the Fallout series. I'm your host, my name is Vince, and I'm also here with... Uh, special guest Kyle. Hey, buddy boy. How are you? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Great show, right? The, yep. the, the back four episodes. We're going to get <laughs> so into it. We're going to do a, we're going to do a pre-spoiler discussion but before we even get into that. Um, I want to apologize for last episode. There was a bit of a mishap when it came to recording. Some of Kyle's audio is kind of choppy and I have to kind of cut around it. So if some things seem like they weren't cohesive, that's my fault. I didn't chop around, uh, in a proper manner. But that being said, this episode, uh, I'm recording everything locally, so we don't have to worry about Papa Kyle having any sort of mishaps. Everything should be A-OK, grade A kosher. Welcome. My name is Vince. This is Kyle. This is The Vault Boys. Uh, let's talk about this show before we talk about the spoilers. Uh, yes. The first thing I want to say is I watched the first one, the first episode, and then I waited a day and watched the second episode and then I watched, like, the third episode, kind of sequentially, for the original recording of this and what have you. I don't remember the episodes of the back four as much as I remember the first four because they all came out at once. And I think that's so far the show's biggest downfall. I hope for season two we get weekly. Because I think it worked perfectly for The Last of Us. So I think it would work perfectly for Fallout. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But other than that, that's my only real gripe with the back four episodes. Is that it feels like episode four happened. Which I have IMDB open over here because I want to have a quick reference. Because I don't remember them as well as I'd like to remember them. Um, episode four is called The Ghouls. And then episode five happens, which is called The Past. And it just kind of feels like... It kept going. Other than that, Kyle, I love everything about this. We're going to talk about... Yeah. We're going to talk about the big discrepancies. We're going to talk about why Twitter was on fire and, like, ruined surprises of the show for me for the past few days. Um, one of the questions I asked you that, that didn't get put into the first part of this because of the way the audio recording happened, and I kind of like that it didn't happen now that we're here. After seeing the entire show... This now has become a two-part question. Who is your favorite character out of the main three leads? And who is your favorite character overall outside of the three leads? Okay, so favorite three lead is Howard yet. Love Howard. Ghoul uh, Howard or Howard Howard? Ghoul Howard. Okay. And outside of the main lead, the Squire. The Squire. He's gonna be it's gonna be the coolest character next season, and I know it. Thaddeus? Yeah. Nice. I I think my favorite of the lead is still Lucy. Mm -hmm. I just... I love watching a character go through some shit. I love watching a character, like, like realize what is true. I uh, love a character seeing what their destiny... Like, I, I don't know. You would think I, like Star, I would like Star Wars more. But, like, I really, really love Lucy's character... Um, she's a, fe a female protagonist, which you know I'm a big sloppy slut for, so I'm just excited to see all that, but I think my favorite character overall throughout the entire show was DJ Clark, or Carl, DJ Carl, <laughs> for multiple reasons, one of them being that it's Fred Armisen, <laughs> yeah. and I will watch anything with Fred Armisen in it, I love Portlandia, uh, it's a big reason why when we, after I graduated, I went to Portland, I wanted to go move to Portland because of that show. Um, that and I heard rent was cheap at the time, but that's not the case anywhere anymore. But I really like DJ Clark. I, I hope he shows up again. Like, I hope he's just somewhere else. With I hope. Fiddle music. Yeah. <laughs> that actually reminded me of uh, Agatha a lot in Fallout 3. Mm. I'm trying to think of what I can say that doesn't spoil things. <clears throat> you know what I mean? 
I know. Uh, we just I, we just gotta get it. Okay. It. All right. All right. So it. it's good. Watch it. It's it's a great show. Go watch it. it. Here's the other thing. If you haven't seen the first four episodes, why are you watching this one? Or play the game? Yeah. Or play, like oh, speaking of playing the game, you told me that they. I think you said it while we were recording. They had that big sale on Xbox. Um, yeah. I have a physical copy of Fallout Four, and I think I told you I bought my brother the one for Xbox, so I took it home. I went on. I went on that the microsoft store and it was like get the season pass for fallout 4 with all five dlcs for twelve dollars and 49 cents or buy yeah. fallout 4 game of the year edition with all the dlc for ten dollars <laughs> yep. so i bought a digital copy of the game and all the dlc and i bought all of the dlc for new vegas and then I have a physical copy when I bought – see, I gave my physical copy of New Vegas to a friend back in the day, and then I never got it back, which I've done that to so many people. I, I can't be upset that I was like, oh, yeah, can I borrow this? And then, like, I still have a copy of Manhunt on the original Xbox. That game's like 60 bucks that someone let me borrow in high school. Yeah, I'm a piece – Yeah. But I have this copy, and I was like, well, you know, that's the one that's with the collector's edition – I don't really want to separate the collector's edition version. <laughs> so I bought a digital copy of New Vegas too. So I, I'm going to go back. I think I'm going to do uh, an unarmed run. Anyway, go watch the show. Go play the games. Uh, we're going to get into a spoiler discussion. But before we do that, a message from today's sponsor. What are you doing here? You shouldn't. This is my, it's my medicine cabinet. It's where I put things like clippers and teeth paste what do you look while you're here and i got you for a second real quick i really need to thank the patreon on screen now are some of the names of the people who are supporting the show and i have to thank them real quick uh they don't just support this program they don't just support any of my other stuff they support the entire channel this is the Gulman Entertainment Patreon people that I have to thank, starting at the top with the OG Noah. Thank you, Noah. After Noah, I have to thank Marcus. Thank you, Marcus. After Marcus, I have to thank Mellow Millhouse. Thank you to Mellow Millhouse. After Mellow Millhouse, I have to thank Captain Lennox. Thank you to Captain Lennox. And last but not least, I have to thank Danish Hound Dog. Because of these fine folks that are here, I can continue to make new stuff. I can continue to try new stuff, especially like a side project like this one. So because of these few names, I'd like to say thank you. I love you. This show is amazing. Enjoy the rest of this episode. Uh, I guess I'm just going to go. Why are you here? Why are you in my medicine? Uh, whatever. It's fine. Wow. Wasn't that great, Kyle? Yep. The folks over at Gulman Entertainment sure are top-notch A-OK, if you ask me. It went, like, instantly, you know? Yeah, oh, it just went so spe quick. Especially if you're watching on YouTube, how people, if you're watching on a phone, you can tap the screen a couple times and it goes forward. Yeah. Because, you know, we're like, all... I don't do that. No, I mean, I wouldn't do it either. I would give it to my favorite creators. But, you know, sometimes it's there. Kyle, this is this is good. This is... Um, it's good. Like, I, I uh, uh, cried a lot. I cried a lot. Like, my fr I have a friend who texted me yesterday while I was at the gym before we recorded. And she was like, hey, have you watched the Fallout show yet? And I'm like, yes. And I was on, like, episode six at that point, And I text her. I'm going, I can't believe this game has made me cry as much as it has. I genuinely, and I mean genuinely, feel like I'm 11 or 12 years old again playing Fallout 3 for the first time. Like, this is a feeling I have not felt, that I didn't think I was going to be able to feel ever again. Like, I thought it was a feeling that came and went, and like, like, you know how they always say, there's nothing like the first time. Like, that's what I thought this was going to be. I thought this was going to, that was a first time, no, no, I, I, mm. <laughs> do you want to talk about it episode by episode? You want to yeah, do it how we did last it, time? No, we want to talk about the big things. Like, okay. We, we got to go for episode to episode. So... Episode five is titled The Past, right? Mm -hmm. And like I said, I don't remember the episodes as succinctly as I did before because I watched them pretty much all together. You and yeah. I got done and I was like, I'll go watch episode five. And then I watched episode yeah, five I, I, and six. Yeah. And so I watched and five, then, six, seven. Yeah. So and then I saved eight. 
So this is the episode where we find out about Shady Sands. Okay. How do you feel about this? Uh, I don't think I have a big like concern or connection because I never played the original Fallout, so mm-hmm. I didn't really know too much of the Shady Sands. What's your first Fallout? New uh, three? Three. Yeah. Three's your first. Yep. Because it's brought up a lot in New Vegas, and I know you love New Vegas. I do, but I don't like. I don't say chance. It's like okay, I don't never. I don't. I don't know that place. So, did you ever learn how to play Caravan? No. There's uh, Shady Sands shows up in Caravan for the one part, mm-hmm. but because um, it's like Shady Sands, the hub, Dayglo. Caravan's really fun to play. Like I genuinely love Caravan. Like I'd love to learn how to play it with a group of people so we could play it all together. Anyway, um, <laughs> it doesn't bother me because of the themes of Fallout. Mm. because of the themes of hubris, the themes of uh, things that are in excess, also just the themes of not everything lasts forever. You know what I mean? Like just the, everything has to go its way. I'm, I'm disappointed at the, the way shady sands leaves, but I'm not upset that it's gone. If that makes sense. Like, it seems so trivial why Shady Sands would leave, which we'll talk about when we get to episode eight. Spoilers in the spoiler section. Uh, but I'm not upset about it. I, I think it's neat to see that Shady Sands had an amount of 34,000 people. That's a, that's a tremendous amount of people to have in the wastes. Yeah. That's, you know what? And from 2141 to 2070. All right, we got to talk about the, the, the chalkboard, but 2077 to 20, 2280 something, you know what I mean? Like that era of time, 35,000 people to be all under one. Th- like Shady Sands, the way it's depicted in New Vegas is essentially live a livable city. And we get to see they had a trolley. Yeah. They, they had buildings. Like they had started anew. Like it was possibly the, the NCR could have been the next version of America. And then we're in, and I loved Vault 4. I thought Vault 4 was fantastic. Oh, so good. Chris so Parnell, good. Uh, DJ Carl and Chris Parnell are my <laughs> my two, uh, the overseer of Vault 4, my two, I, I just like Chris Parnell. I just like him. Fuck. I'm trying to like think of it. See, this is what sucks about them coming out not <laughs> weekly. Well, I got some. Please, 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 down. please. Um, well, uh, my, Maximus showed himself to the Squire. Mm-hmm. And the squire took his power core out and left yeah. him inside the armor, which never really thought about that. Like they should have had that in the game, where like your power, your fusion, co- and you just stuck there and you die. Um, just, and just Lucy comes and saves him. Yeah, yeah, saw so Um, because he and he was calling himself Titus to Lucy, so he was even lying to Lucy about who he was. Um, we know that they went back to the vault. And, and Hannah Montana kid in the vault. I, so. I don't know his name. I'm just going to call Norman. him Hannah Montana. Norman. Um, they found that 32 is trying to get into Vault 31. Because they were like looking for that. They discovered uh, what the secret was. They discovered the, the experiment. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, just, just little tidbits I have. Uh, Lucy said about that they were meant to, the vaults were meant to open for Reclamation Day. Mm-hmm. They're waiting for. So other than seventy six, other votes had that. Oh yeah, I idea. thought I thought that was um, I thought that was just like an understood thing. Was that mm-hmm. like a new idea for you? Like, did you just the only vault that I think was ever supposed to stay shut that we know of stay shut completely was one hundred one. Mm. One hundred one was supposed to stay shut until they I all think died. That's right, like you, you're in one hundred one and three, so you. It's not really mentioned because, like, New Vegas, you're not in a vault. No, but I think and in every... four, you're in instantly and you're out. So. Well, yeah, and in four, it to me at least, it seemed very much like we're gonna freeze you, freeze you until you have, uh, until we have the appropriate all call from Vault Tech saying you can leave. Mm. That that's the way I took it. Right. You know what I mean? It was nice though. It was nice to like have that. Mm talked about more like oh yeah so reclamation day we're supposed to come up and repopulate the world and all that you know they're they're doing we see that in 76 they're doing a very nice job of of 
um, keeping up with themes from the original fallouts all the way up to 76. Right. Like, are we going to play 76? Yeah. Oh, we are? Yeah. Oh, when are we playing? We should. You want to play on Xbox? I want to see if I can get a <laughs> yeah. crew together. Because apparently Cause it's could... not cross-play. Well, yeah, but I think you can, um, you can start at level 20, if I remember correctly. I'm doing a power armor run. If we're doing it, I'm doing a power armor run. I want to go full, like, giant man with giant sledge. <laughs> I, I, I want to ask my buddy if he wants to get into it. Next time I get paid, this is I could cut most of this out. Next time I get paid, I'll buy a copy of it and uh, we'll play because I could probably get him for seven dollars at GameStop. <laughs> uh, then we know Sage Sands was destroyed. Yes. Um, Maximus was from Shady Sands. How'd you feel about that? I didn't even see that coming. I. It was okay. Oh. I like and the, the fact that he survived in the fridge was like okay. Peak so fallout. Keep going, keep going. I gotta write something down. Keep going. Um, and then, so they were going to look for. Um, they go across a bridge with two two other fellows, and they put their hands up. And this one crazy lady sees the Pip Boy, and go. They go and shoot, and they shoot Maximus. And Lucy's kind of like, "Why? Why'd you shoot them?" And then we learned that they're fiends. She goes, "What's a fiend?" And he goes, "They're cannibals. They eat people." So did the fiends? Is the fiends in uh, New Vegas eat people? I believe so. Because I know Cook Cook was doing more than just eating people. Let me bring up the wiki quick. But continue, please. Uh, so uh, Maximus is shot, and then uh, they go look for help, and they go to Hawthorne Medical Lab, which is a Voltec Medical Lab. There's a Voltec symbol. Um, as soon as they get in, like Lucy goes in with her gun. And Maximus is following her and then get to a door that's just painted on. And then they get, like, a uh, knockout gassed. And that was, that was pretty much the episode. That's, it's, it's a, is that the whole episode? It's just what I had written down. Damn, I guess you're right. Because I, I, see, again, I blended four, five, and six together in my mind. Give me one second. There's probably little bits that happened, but, like... I wrote down like the most like, oh, that's interesting. That's mm. something. So when you saw them in Vault 4 for the first time, did you think did you think it was 31? No. I thought it was 31. Because how big are these two vaults? How big are these three vaults that are all connected, right? So I assumed it went over a huge span of land underground. So I went, oh, this is 31. Because I was trying to figure out what the experiment was the whole time. Yeah. So I thought, okay, I, this is what it is. It's going to be, this is 31, and it's going to be way more affluent than 32 or 33. Right. So that's what I thought. Hmm. But, I mean, I, we kind of have to go directly into episode six then. Like, there's like... Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, I skipped that. So the medical lab stuff happens. Norman finds the overseers, are the, the, they're sending most of the crew... From Volt 33 to Volt 32 to repopulate mm -hmm. again. So Betty like lists who's going, who's not going. While they're doing that, Norman goes onto her computer and types to Volt 31. And the 31 overseer types back and and Norman goes, It's compromised or something like that. The mission's compromised, and it's like and the overseer from Volt 31 goes, You need to come back. Is 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 are you compromised? So Norman knows that something's not right with Betty. She's plotting with something with 31. And he goes and heads towards the, the vault for mm -hmm. 31, the door for 31. And he gets and in right away. Up. Yeah, he goes, he, open up. And he gets let right like, in. Let him in. Yep. And, uh, that's... and then we learn that they're in the vault. And a vault, uh, Lucy and Maximus. Did you think it was going to be a vault? What did you think it was? Uh, some sort of test. Mm -hmm. Like, they were getting, like, drugged, but, like, throughout my whole mind, I was like, wait, where's this overseer at that with one eye? Like, I saw him from the trailer. When is this happening? Mm -hmm. Like, so. I remember. And that was episode five. I remember early on seeing Chris Parnell and being like, I think that's Chris Parnell. And uh, him having one eye. Can tell with his one eye. 
Well, I, I, cause of his, his voice. Did you know those mugs that he drinks out of? They bought off Etsy. Really? They bought, there, there's a uh, Mrs. Fallout who I met when I went to the DC meetup, right? Um, she sold some props that are like, cause she would sell collectors. She put it on her Twitter or her Instagram. She sold, uh, the production team, some bobbleheads that she had extras of. She was like, I was, I sold it. And I was like, oh, it's going wherever. And then she looked at the address and she was like, I think I just sold this to the Fallout show. My, my sealed copy of Fallout 3, I, I never confronted her on this. I'm almost positive I bought from her. Because hmm. I know she had like sold a lot of stuff online before, like uh, whatever. And when I bought that, when I met her, it said that it came from about the area that she told me that she had come from for the DC meetup. And I always huh. wanted to message her and be like, did you sell me this? And I never did. But um, what did you, how did you feel about like actually getting to see mutants? Like, like in Vault 4 for episode 6, like you actually got to see mutated humans. Well, I, at first were, I was like, what is this experiment? What's, what's the experiment going on? Because all of a sudden like Maximus is like hot for Lucy and Lucy's just like, Let, let's have sex and all that. Whoa, and Kyle, like, okay, come on. Something? This is a Christian podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Did that bother you? No, I it, thought it was like something in the air. It bothers the hell out of me. Yeah. When Lucy looks at him and is just like, let's, let's have intercourse. I was like, like, I get it. It show which I thought it's interesting. And I also wasn't a fan of that because I hate when sex just becomes like a driving factor in a show. Yeah. And it I think it's also her program. That was her whole thing in the vault. Yes. That yes. she's still like, but also that's in her mind. she was having sex with her cousin. So to her, sex just seemed like an activity to do. But I thought it was interesting that, that, not even for her to just populate, repopulate, but it was very much for her to just do something. Like, it just seemed like yeah. sex was something to pass time. But also, Maximus, being raised brotherhood, had, like, zero sexual education. And yeah. And didn't understand what sex was to the point where he was uncomfortable about it. Yeah. That, I thought, was interesting. I just, I just don't, like, if I don't have to see a character go to the bathroom, I don't need to see them have sex. You know what I mean? But I, yeah, yeah. I thought it was like the experiment, like because then they show like the where they were in. It was test subjects. Yeah. So I thought, okay, maybe something in there is making them like horny or like something like that, because like their behavior was off. Well, you would think that too because of the oysters. They give Maximus oysters, and everyone always says an oyster is an aphrodisiac. And Kyle, mm. I've had oysters when I was in Paris, and I've never been less horned up. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was sitting there I was I was I was fucking Randy for cake the cake at the bakery I got at the place next door I wasn't looking for some strange anyway no, no like their whole behavior was like off because mm -hmm. I think Lucy was so comfortable like let's do this because she was in the vault again yeah it was it was actually really nice to see <laughs> it was actually really nice to see Lucy happy like it was yeah. it was nice to see her comfortable if the show does anything right it's its character development and. The way you see Lucy, I'm all happy and ready to go. And then she gets outside and she's like, I don't understand anything. This has been the hardest week of my life. And uh, then all of a sudden she's like in the vault and then she's ready to leave the vault with a newfound confidence in herself. Um, we had a lot of uh, pre-war stuff too, like Galaxy News. We had the little intro. I dude, I I'm happy you wrote that down because I forgot about that. I went yo like really loud. Like I probably woke the neighbors. Like I was so excited is, to see. Which it was Howard in in Vault Four, mm. advertising for. So, you had text me that you think pre-war stories are better told in television rather than in game. I feel like because like they like if you're in a game and you learn about the pre-war, it's like you're reading like, it. You're you're reading it, but like if you're playing a section of it, it's like what you're driving, you're walking to office. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I See, feel like with this, they can. Oh, that's my foot. With hey. This, <laughs> with this, they can like tell that because like that's you know like shows can like tell a, a mm -hmm. modern story, like not modern, but like you're in a building, you're discussing this and like all this. You know, what I mean, like I, I can read so many entries about how Vault Tech did this evil thing. 
but the building that it happened in adds a lot to it. And yeah, I yeah. could walk around the disheveled remnants of a vault tech building, but if I could see what it looks like and it's all prim and proper, but it's mm -hmm. actually like... Eh. Seeing the evil right there. Yeah. Yeah. Like seeing, yeah. I um, think Fallout might work better as a show than a game. Yeah. I like, don't get me wrong. I love the show. I love the games. The games are incredibly fun. They're universes that I love. I think it works best this way. So far, so far, who knows? We might, I, I think the biggest thing that Fallout is missing is making it a survival game. Mm -hmm. Just make it like there's no a survival mode. There, it's just a survival game. You have to eat. You have to take care of things. That's what I feel like Fallout is missing the most. Um, but also, again, I might just be saying that because this is like the most fun I've had with a Fallout license in a very long time. You know what I mean? Like this has been like this. This is 2024 has very much for me been the year of like get in touch with your inner child. Like talk to your inner child. I feel like I have been little 11 12 year old me has been eating good and it's just i don't know man sorry i could gush and gush and go <laughs> on and on so continue about vault 4 and episode 6 yeah yeah um yeah How howard's advertising vault 4 mm -hmm. um we learned that howard what did surf in alaska he yeah. fought in alaska did you see the thing that emil uh or emil i can never say the dude's name P paglario said on twitter no that nate oh the net nate that nate, then they retracted that why they retracted it yeah. because uh they were killing canadian protesters or something my, like that my the, nate is a war criminal my nate is yeah. a war criminal they're like oh well he's a war criminal if i have to have a voice that protagonist doesn't. he can at least be a war criminal <laughs> but yeah they no. retracted that very fast i'm sorry i meant to ask you that before we recorded i'm going to talk about that on the next atomic radio hour but please continue um yeah howard was in alaska um i think he was talking to bud about that because yeah. bud or was that before no fuck bud atkins Atkins, yeah. fuck that guy um he's he's sleeping with his wife season two when they give us more flashbacks bud and uh what's her name betty no no betty is the other woman um yeah barb 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 two b names my bad um yeah, and I th was that, and then like Howard was like, "Hey, you know the T? What what was it? T fifty forty five? T sixty? T sixty? Well, when he's talking about it, he's saying about how when he talks to the guy from West Tech, uh, T forty five had a uh, the the chest plate. There was a defect where bullets could get through, and how he's like, I lost a lot of good men out there. Yeah. Oh, did you notice that the that the ghoul is wearing his cowboy getup? Did you realize he's wearing the blue and gold cowboy shirt under his duster? Oh, I did not know that. Go Howard? back because I saw it and I went, get the fuck out of here. He sti I want it because that's the shirt he was wearing the day the bombs went off. This dude has yeah. not changed clothing in 219 years. I did not know that. Yeah. I want to know. I want to know if there's something to do with it. Like in season two, where they, he's probably going to talk about his kid more and his wife because he says some stuff about his family. Like, and we 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 see. Then they have a party yes. at his house. Yes, um, he's reading the newspaper, and we see that uh, they zoom in on that Russian is losing territory. Mm. <coughs> is it Russia or China and, as a whole? No, ru ru uh, Reds are losing territory, okay. or something like that. Um, and then we get to meet uh, the voice actor of Codsworth, who has sold his voice. So I was wrong in the last episode, and I apologize. It was the Mighty Boosh guy. Mm -hmm. I apologize, Kyle. He sold it to the character, which then Robco bought the studio of. Yeah, and they paid him $153 million, or $189, something like that, million dollars for that character voice. And then I love how he's like, they gave me a robot. He goes, you know how awful it is to come home every day and hear myself go, would you like to have a seat? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then we cut back back to Howard, uh, who wakes up as the government. These government guys come in. I thought they were NCR the way they were dressed. The, when oh, he's like in the, the super duper farm. 
yeah, the super duper mind. Who's that? When oh, Howard oh, wakes oh, up oh, after, oh, 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 the sheriff. And these guys with cowboy hat sheriffs. For the, for the government. Sheriffs. The government. Government. Um, government. They see. knock him out, take him. Um, we learn a little bit more about the vault. Uh, the one vault dweller from Vault 4, her name is Birdie. Um, she was telling Lucy that her mom was a courier. You know who her mom is? No. Moldova. It's so obvious that her mom is Moldova. Because Wait, she who? said her and her mom. Birdie's mom. Yeah. Birdie's mom is Moldova, who, who stole Hank. Because she goes, she ran out of Shady after the bombs had gone on to Philly. After the, 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 the town had been nuked. She went to mm -hmm. Philly. They could still feel the heat from it because she said she was born on the surface. I'm telling you, why is she leading the cult ritual if it's not her mother? Mm. That's one I'm sure of. I was, I was wrong about a lot of things, my predictions. I'm sure about Birdie. I'm sure about Birdie. But go on, sorry. Uh, no, uh, then we meet like the overseer who has one eye. Yeah. Um, and then like weird other people that have like noses on their heads and different like mutations. His name was Dr. Nose. Was it really? Yeah, on Amazon when you like hit the up button because I would check every now and again to see who the actors were if they were anybody that I just wasn't recognizing but would recognize the name. His name was yeah. Dr. Nose and then something else. So they called him Dr. Nose. That's funny. Which might be like a James Bond reference to Dr. No. I don't know. Uh, and then there were, uh, we cut back to Howard in the past with his wife and they're talking. Um, they're in like a pool and then uh, she says something about because Howard doesn't want to like go to a voter, he kind of has like and skeptical about it, and he's like, "We'll just pay for our spot." And his wife goes, "No, we have to make sure we get into one of the good ones." So she and he knows. Goes, what do you mean by that? She knows. And he goes, "What do you mean by that?" <laughs> and then I wrote down. I forget what 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 was going on, but I wrote Vault Tech may have started the bombs dropping. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Lucy's talking to the overseer. Um, and guess Vault 4's rule was bringing in people no matter what. He said that was the rule before, since the beginning. No matter what, if someone just knocked let, on the door, they had to let him in. They let him in, yeah. Um, which the, vault, the overseer hates it. He, he's like, you know. And then we get to the school. Okay, so we're going to talk about... Oh. We're going to talk about this. I can't find pictures of this chalkboard, but I love that when you walk in, there's a giant New California Republic flag. There's NCR propaganda. And then the chalkboard that – let me see, let me do a quick Google. Well, there's, a, there's a remember Shady Sands and like a diorama of like the trolley and like stuff like that. And then there's a, a board of like the history. It's Shady Sands. Now, I have a theory. Yeah. I have a theory. Okay, so so there's, there's a chalkboard that says the our history historic the rise and fall of Shady Sands 2000, 2142 Shady Sands founded mm -hmm. 2189 New California Republic created mm -hmm. then we got 2198 Shady Sands becomes capital of the NCR mm -hmm. and in 2241 I can't see NCR becomes the Something like the most powerful in California. Econ I can see. Like, I can make up the word economic power in California. Yeah. And then 2077, the fall of Seychelles, and then leads to a nuke, like okay, explosion. I don't think that everyone had their fucking panties in a twist, saying that that meant it retconned all of New Vegas. Which, no. if you watch the last episode, shut up. Here's See, my other thing. Fall... Here, here's my other thing about this. Go tier. for it. Go for it. Sorry, I'm a little heated. <laughs> Angry Vince. Yes, let's do it. It's fiction. When I first heard that New Vegas had been retconned, my first thought was, "Does that delegitimize delegitimize my time in the Sierra Madre, which has had a profound effect on me since I've played it?" Does that delegitimize my time spent with Graham? Does that delegitimize my time spent with Boone? All of my favorite characters, I was afraid, had then just been delegitimized. That just didn't exist. And I was afraid that because it was Bethesda, 
maybe they had retconned it because it's not the game that they wrote. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then all I had seen was them talking about how Shady was gone. That's the only thing I had seen. And then my buddy at work showed me that it's like, oh, hey, look, this is the chalkboard. And it was just 77, the fall 77 and onward. And I'm sitting there and I was getting upset. And then I was like, what do, what do you like? First off, it's fiction. I get that these things are important to us, but it doesn't take away the, ex the experiences that we've had. Like, Kyle, you love Doctor Who, right? Yeah. Who's your favorite doctor? David. Tenet? Tenet. Yep. Okay. Imagine tomorrow the BBC was just like, yeah, David Tennant is no longer canon. You'd be upset, mm. but it doesn't take away your experiences you had with David Tennant as a character. You know what I mean? Right. Like, say yeah. you learn something. There's so many people that have been through Honest Hearts and became religious because of Graham. Like, I love Boone. Boone is probably my favorite companion in the entire series. Boone made me feel more comfortable with being alone. The same way Fallout 3 made me feel more comfortable with being alone. Because I see a man who, who is angry at the world for what happened to him. It's not right what had happened to him. But he has to continue going on. And that's his story. Is you have to learn to go forward from that. And at the end of the day, like you just trudge on. There's a light always at the end of a tunnel. And that doesn't mean death. Those are experiences that I have, that I hold close to me, that I will know are true to me. Shut the fuck up that a game might not be in a series anymore. Like, I get it sucks, but you still... Like, Star Wars did it. Star Wars got rid of all of their stuff that wasn't canon anymore because Disney didn't make it. And then they just slowly reintroduced it. Like, Tactics is apparently canon all of a sudden. Did you hear about that? No. I, heard, I read on Twitter, I think it was from Tunnel Snake's Fool, she said that Tactics got confirmed to be canon. So a game huh. that we had no clue whether or not it was canon is now canon. Hmm. But I assume they were going to pick and choose things that they wanted. If, I, if it's not her who I heard it from, I'm sorry. I just remember reading it these past few days on Twitter. They own the license. They can do whatever they want. If, if Fallout 5 is about an alien who crash lands on Earth and you, you have to play as him and you have to collect remnant parts of kittens to fuel your spaceship to get back home, that's, that's the game they wanted to make. You know what I mean? Like, I get being upset about, oh, my, my, my favorite characters are gone, this and that. But, like, it doesn't change the experience you had with those games. Also, the fall of something doesn't mean the second it ended. Yes, that's what I was thinking, too. Because, <laughs> like, that sat happens, and then there's a line to a bomb. Like, it's not, like... If it's it was not like, a bomb and destroyed... says the fall. Yeah. Like, like... And the fall happened during fall it's three so like the decline of the ncr maybe that's where caesar's legion and shit are coming in you so, know and like the dam losing and like the first battle of hoover dam is in 77 mm -hmm. and the fall the, that's when it starts because that's the mojave campaign because that's the yep. beginning of the mojave campaign and everyone back at shady wanted nothing to do with it they sat there and went why are my tax dollars going towards this we have everything we need here we are expanding too far like they also moved the location of shady sands did you know that i did not know that so shady sands is supposed to be more north because if that's where vault four is and that's LA, that's the Boneyard, which is Southern Los Angeles. Northern Los Angeles is where 13 Shady Sands and 15 are. And then a little bit south of Shady is the Great Cons Encampment, and a little bit south of that is Junktown, and then a little bit south of that is Shady Sands. Or, excuse me, is the Boneyard, where the followers start, that's where Nicole is. In Fallout 1, Fallout the first, not the Fallout first DLC pack, but the first Fallout in 2141, right? Are we all on the right. same page at this point? Yeah. They Plus, moved... we don't know what is canonical, like, happened at, in New Vegas, like, the ending. Everybody is... Oh, well, that. I think I know what the ending is. I think we know. We might know from the there's, show. There's now, one of like... two things that I think the ending are, and it's the... It's... Uh, excuse me. Um, can I get it on camera? No. You see those colors, Kyle? Yeah. You know what colors those are? Mm -hmm. I wish I could get it. I just don't want to move the camera because it's going to be a pain in the penis to move it back over. Okay, I have a theory. A theory I'll ask you when we get to that. Okay, okay. 
but yeah, I, I'm, I, the fall does not mean fall doesn't mean it's it over. Expl- it there's a line to a bomb. That yeah, means it's heading. Yeah. So like, plus they're not going to write on the board like the fall and then be like, oh, are all our failures? You know what I mean? They're going to be like, this is when it started grade. and this is when it's ended. Yeah. Like America's yeah. been falling. You know when America started falling? Sometime during the Reagan administration. And then after that, it's been all downhill since then. Like that, but you wouldn't say that America ended in the 80s. Yeah. You'd probably say it yep. ended in the 40s, but still, like, yep. not Plus you know, they're, 20s, they're 40s. Remembering Shady Sands, they don't want to be like. They don't, yeah. yeah. That's their history. That is yeah. their history. There is, um, so speaking of the classroom. I accidentally ruined something for myself before I finished the series and I went on uh, the wiki because I wanted to see some things. I also wanted to make sure I was spelling Lucy's name correctly, McLean. Uh, it says that she becomes a history teacher on the wiki. I think in her vault she does because she teaches. Oh, does she? Yeah, she was teaching in in the opening scene where did she's you- like, I'm doing this and, I'm, and she was teaching. Oh, did you notice there's no kids in that vault? Like whatsoever. Oh, yeah. Also, can we talk about it when she picks up the NCR flag and then plays the theme? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I was like, it was Fallout oh, Four's shit. theme though. I was kind of hoping it would be. Um, it, it. Don't get me wrong. It hit. It uh, kind of. Like, I, I cried a little bit. Like I'm not gonna lie. Like there's there's actually like, there's a scene that I gotta. I can't wait to tell you about in the last episode. Now, mind you, I love Fallout One. Right. Like I've said it forever like i love how far we gotta play through i gotta gotta play it's so hard it's such a hard game if i stream it would you stream it with me yeah like in chat like if you if you just like this we tried that like three times no i know i know and i'm getting to the point where i just need to fucking beat it and i was thinking about it today i think i okay behind the 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 camera behind the curtain kfab off in show notes earlier today, I put a little uh, Pip Boy because I want to try to get my camera to fit in there. So when I stream, I'm like in there. So I'm trying to set some stuff up with it uh, because it's so old. It's just a pain in the ass to to set up, even though even though it's on Steam. I really want to stream Fallout One somewhere here. It's right there. I don't know why it's on the floor, but it's behind my desk. I have um, like a stat block of how to make a character. That's like a mm. if you're gonna play for the first time, do it like this because I just don't want to send me that. I will. I will because I'd love to play it with you where you know we're like talking together. Um, yeah. My thing is, I want to make sure I do it correctly where I can go to the glow because I want to read all the terminals in the glow. And it's mm. really hard to do such. Don't look at my legs, Kyle. It's so hard to do it um, because of uh, the radiation. But yeah, here here it is. Mm. Here's it's a uh, five spe- five strength, seven perception, six endurance, two charisma, nine agility. Or sorry, nine intelligence, ten agility, and nine luck. You really mm. want to base it on being able to hit first and hit the most and getting crits. The furthest I ever got, I, I went with the Brotherhood into Mariposa, and I didn't have enough stim packs. And I was like, let me go buy stim packs and come back. By the time I got back, I couldn't get back in because I, like, softlocked myself out of the game. Mm-hmm. So I, I, think, I think the uproar – and I succumb to it too. Like, you know, I just wish – what sucks is ne- when season two comes out, I have to take that day off. Like, I have to watch the whole series in one day, which sucks – if they do it that way again, because I don't want it to be spoiled again for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and at that time, I think we were learning as well. Uh, we meet the government. Yes. <laughs> we meet the government. Howard meets the government. Spelled Gover and then M-I-N-T. That's, that's the type um, of shit I love. Oh, yeah. we also found out – just I want to bring this up because you brought it up last episode. We also found out why they pull teeth out of dead bodies. Oh, they shoot them. How genius of an idea is that? I would that's, have never thought of that. Never thought of that. that that's so uh, cool. I hope they put that into the next Fallout. I wouldn't be surprised if they, if they added a gun into 76 that's like a tooth gun. That it just runs on teeth ammo. Because it's essentially, like, that would get into you and rip you to shreds. Like, that would, like, enter your arm and, like, a twenty two just fucking bounce around and pop out. I think it's a very dope idea. But anyway, go it's on about the government. Because he's spitting out cysts. Yeah, 
he's he yeah he's talking to the government. Um, he <laughs> sews his finger back on, which then works again. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't take it so much as it worked again. I just took it more as he had control over bending it because it seemed like it mm. was like the middle quadrant of the finger, so he would have enough power to just move it. I don't know, you know. Yeah. Maybe just ghouls can do that. Who knows? Well, sewing on limbs seems to work again in this yeah. universe. I mean, well, Lucy's made sense because it was like a medical procedure. Yeah. To put her finger but back. But it wasn't on. her finger. No. Which I think is super no. dope. Um But then we learn like Howard's like ed- edging them on and stuff like that, and then he kills them. Because he finds a wanted poster and he goes, Who is this? And we learn that it's uh, uh, Moldaver. Is that mm-hmm. how I'm saying her name? I think that's and how goes, you say it. Moldaver. And he goes, I haven't seen this face in a long time. And it's the face of the like Communist Party leader that he gets, Howard gets invited to. She's not a to. communist, Kyle. A communist is know, the word they used to say for people that aren't crazy. Crazy, yep. And then, then at that moment, I was like, at that moment, I was like, he hasn't seen that face in a long time. Is this his daughter? But then it was like, no, it's, and then it cuts to the scene where it's her. Hold on, not, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, pause, wait, stop, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, stop, stop, pause, wait, stop, Kyle, hold on, wait. Moldaver and the ghoul are never in the same room. Well, not the ghoul, Howard was. No, but I'm saying at the on the last episode, yeah, she's fighting downstairs and he's up there with Lucy and Hank. Mm-hmm. Yo, you might be on to something. Yeah, they look too much the same. Like they look, it's the same person because she knew about the cold fusion and everything. Yeah, like and Harkness got his face changed and nobody recognized him. Those things are not out of the realm of possibility that you can change your face entirely. Mm. You know what I mean? Right. But go on, go on. Yeah, so so we we learned that um, Howard is going to meet like with about like oh Voltex do like he was told like Voltex yeah. just looking out for themselves and the company you know and, like what happens when there isn't peace you know they can't sell vaults. So he goes to this meeting and we find he meets with Moldaver pre-war. I like that it was at a, um, at a uh, what do you call it a crematorium. Yeah. And during that sequence, uh, Lucy is watching the vault dwellers of four go up to do a ceremony where they strip naked, cover what themselves in the ashes. What did you think it was going to be before it started? I don't know. I don't know. I, I was like, oh, what are they going to do? She took the, some weird shit. She took the pit boy off, and I thought she was going to get the wrong pit boy and lose tracking of the head. That's what I'm I like, thought was going to happen. The thing too. I'm like, how do you know what pit boy is yours? When you put it in the link, how do you... Which, again, you know, I mean? you know, it's one of those... It's a show, you know, she yeah. she was just following the pack. It could have went mm-hmm. one way or the other. Um, but, yeah, um, then but she goes to... They cover herself in ashes. <laughs> just halfway. She goes, like, halfway. She's like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> and then they put ashes on, and it's the actual... It, I don't think it's probably their... A- well, you know, it's probably it's their ashes. Uh, Kyle, uh, she, you go to church, and they give you the body of Christ, and it's a Nilla wafer that they did a little motion over. Like it's probably ceremonial. I well, they could also go to say Shant and grab ashes. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. And then she stops herself, and then they start drinking blood because, like, the ashes and like the blood of Sadie Shant will remember them. Say Shant, love a good cult. And he does. Maximus does. He goes, "This is a cult." Yes. Everybody's smiling. <laughs> people are too happy. And uh, yeah, people are too happy. And. um and he's having a grand old time taking a shower and eating all this food and caviar. And they bring out the poster, like like a cloth poster of Madover, and they call her the Flame Mother. Mm-hmm. And Lucy's like, oh, that's her. That's the woman I'm looking for. And then I'm we then see Madover How- talking to Howard. That scene, and then that's when she decides that she has to go to level 12. You're not supposed to go to level 12, Kyle. Let's go to level 12. And, and then we her. see a video of a, of a lady... Giving birth in a tank to a bunch of gopers, and then then that that then eat her in so, the tank after she gave birth to them. Didn't gopers first show up in Boston or in Far Harbor? 
the uh, axolotls? Yeah. I don't think they were in. Oh wait. Yeah. Well, they're the in seventy six. Found in Appalachia, but they're different looking. So in Far Harbor, they show up as gulpers, right? Yeah. Uh, salamanders altered by both the nuclear fallout of the Great War as well as the present pres- fucking dyslexia is a hell of a drug my friend persistent radiation of the fog these creatures have grown exponentially towering over most humans so the first time they show up the gulper is in uh, fall 4 and then they come back in 76 Yeah, I forgot the. So, and when I type in, because I have the Fallout Wiki, the Nukipedia, if you will, where I get all of my lore for mm-hmm. Atomic Radio Hour in the show, uh, there's also Gulpers. When I type in Gulpers, it takes me right to Vault 4. This is, this is a huge nitpick that we don't need to go over right now, Papa. Yeah. Um, but it's just one of those things of how did it start there and get that far? You know what I mean? Yeah, and the gulpers she was, like, birthing were, like, the axolotl gulpers. Yeah. So it could be, like, a Voltec again, sharing the same, like, shit experiments, and then, like, th- that was axolotl's gulpers, and then, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. we have the normal other gulpers somewhere in another the same way you know we have I mean? rad scorpions all over, death claws have made their way all over, super mutants yeah. on, in DC are yellow, and everywhere yeah. else they're green. It's just silly little shit like that. Yeah. Um, and then we see other cryo chambers with these naked pregnant women in. Which that was, that was, I'm assuming those naked naked pregnant women are uh, other impregnated people with gulpers in them? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> you know what's wild about uh, that? That unlocked a fetish for somebody. Somebody watched that and was like, oh, my life's like changed forever now. <laughs> Like, someone now can't get off unless they're watching someone give birth in a tub to fucking scalies. To, to, to the shape of water monster. Like. <laughs> <laughs> the internet's uh, And that was episode six. Yeah, it is. What was your, what was your overall opinion of six? Because six to me was my favorite since four. Like, six felt like 4.2. Or I like six two. more than five and four. Really? Like we got we got like more of the pre war stuff and like interesting behind that and more like Voltec shit. Mm-hmm. And I think that's like the biggest thing that I've always wanted in Fallout. Like I wanted to know more about like where the hell is Voltec now? You know what I mean? Like the bombs drop. We I have think they're the Enclave. And, like, do you think so? I think they're the Enclave. I don't think they're Enclave. I, I, I think they are because the Enclave spearheads Project Safe House, which is done by vault Tech. It's like a joint government operation. You know what I mean? I feel like they have. I feel like they have another hand to themselves. Like somebody else is running. Really, running the shots. Yeah, yeah. But that was always a thing of like. You know, they had these experiments and we were learning why and like, you know, we learned most of the stuff at the mm-hmm. next episode, but like it's always been a one of like where when where are these Voltex? Like where's the creator at? Like where is he hiding at? You know what I mean? Like like that's always been like a mystery that I I just assumed like, he was dead. I don't think so. I assumed he was dead or he was on the oil rig. Like there's no way he's still alive. I think there he's still alive. Really? I think so. Yeah, the the person who wants to be rich and sell these votes and like make the world end is definitely gonna have like the best shit somewhere hidden. Do you think it'll <laughs> it'll be him or do you think it'll be uh, like his lineage? I like like let's say season two comes around and we're in somewhere else, right? Actually, I gotta look that up in a minute. But say we're somewhere else, right? I'm not going to say where, but, you know, somewhere else. Yeah. And they come across, like, vault techs, like a vault tech vault that is just for the higher-ups. Because, like, even Barb, uh, Ghoul Howard's wife, says that the vault that she got them into is a management vault for other vaults. 
where she can watch over the other vaults. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. It's like all these experiments going on. There has to be a vault that's yes getting all that information. That's Enclave. Mm. That the Enclave watched. They could watch over from the oil rig. So the Enclave has access to it. Also, when Siegel uh, Veltz, Veltz, what's his name? Siegel Veltzig calls Lucy by her full name, right? Mm-hmm. He calls her Lucy McLean. I have no doubt in my mind that Siegel was with Barb at some point in time. Yeah. There is a connection there because Barb probably would have said about Hank and they probably would have watched from the oil rig because they knew him. You know what I mean? I don't know how old Siegel is though. So episode seven. Yes. We started out with like two people wearing NCR Ranger armor. How'd you feel about that? I was like, Ooh. Yeah. I, I like that. It showed that there are still people out there that that's, that's why that's how I know people watched episode six and stopped. Because you can't just get rid of an idea. The NCR isn't even a town. It's not a place. It's not a people. Yeah. It's an idea. It's you like can't. it's almost like the Brotherhood too. Like, like, like how the Brotherhood has different sects and they sometimes don't connect with each other. And it's yeah. like the NCR is probably like that too. Like the people over in New Vegas probably didn't really care, you know, about say Shady Sands as much. You know, they wanted the Hoover Dam and all that, and New Vegas and. But most people in Vegas during the events of Vegas talk about how they didn't want NCR there. They didn't yeah. care. And if you talk to Cass, Cass actually talks about how under Caesar controlled area, caravans are safer. So like you have these groups of people that are just going to exist whether or not the people with the power and the money are there. So like yeah. sorry, I, I love seeing uh the NCR armor, the Ranger armor. I thought it was a fantastic, yeah. nice little touch. Um, mm-hmm. It really um, felt like it played into fandom, but not in a, hey, look, remember this type of way? It was like, hey, this is the scavengers. They found armor, NCR armor, and they're using it. Oh, you it took to it as scavengers? And, well, they're farmers in a way, and, and they you, they were using it, you know? I, I thought, well, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you think that they were NCR Rangers? Ooh. Do you think? Because that's what I thought. I thought they were past rangers. I don't think they were. Okay, I thought they were. Maybe the dad was, but I don't think they were. Mm-hmm. Um, but we learned that I guess like Howard found a note on the brother he killed from Philly, and th- he gets told where Mad- um, Moldaver 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 is, and she's at the observatory. She has such a hard name. I have. Yeah, it's. She doesn't need to have such a hard name. Which I think you know more about the observatory than I do. What do you mean? Do you know about the observatory from I, Fallout? Like, uh, I think this is the first time it ever showed up. Oh, okay. Let did me they see. ever mention it? They probably mention it in games. But like, I assume they it probably got mentioned. That, like, uh, It says it's part of the Angels. It has formerly California Republic. Uh, Brotherhood of Steel. It's owned by Vault-Tec Pre-War... This is all on the Fallout wiki. I'm just going through quickly. No, it seems like the first time it was ever brought up was the show. Because it's this Fallout TV series location. It doesn't say... Because normally it'll be like Mr. House talked about in these games. Like it'll be like uh, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4, Fallout 76. Yeah. Other places. Ooh. 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 (laughs) Um... (laughs) You know, but, like, it'll say that on the wiki. I am so fucking familiar with the wiki that it's kind of scary. Like, Yeah, so Lucy tries to escape, uh, but they capture her. And they, the overseer and Birdie tell her that this was an experiment. They show her a video of the two guy, the guy and the wife that was from the commercial. Yeah. Can I, can uh, I just bring up the commercial quick? Sorry, I don't mean to cut yeah. you off. Very well done commercial. The way the, yeah. the scientist family's like nervous on camera and, and Howard is like all cool, calm, collected. Continue, sorry. But they were supposed to be there for five years as an experiment. Oh, I didn't I even pick up said, on right? that. I'll take your word they said for it. That I think they said to Howard or somebody that... No, 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 no. They, they said were there on the five years before the bombs went off. 
They were living yeah, in there. Yeah, they were supposed to be there. Yeah. Do you remember that doctor's name? Southwood. No, no, no. Of uh, the um. With the family? Yeah. I don't remember his name. If they're on here, they don't have a. They don't have a wiki entry yet. Mm. Uh, there's a picture of them, Lloyd, Lloyd and Cassandra. But they, and they had kids. Yeah, they're they're a vault tech, and they say it in the video about like they they were mixing DNA and stuff like that, radiation or whatever, and like they did the Gulper incident, and they were like experimenting on on the Gulpers and stuff like that, and then the overseer was like, "Yeah, that that Gulper you see in that video is my great cousin on my mother's side or something like that." It was his great uncle Peter. Yeah. On his mom's side. Yeah. I just, I just read that. Sorry. I'm trying to find it. When I looked up Lloyd, it directed me right back to the ghoul. So I'm looking through his wiki, but I'm listening. But, uh, and we learned that like, they're trying to like save these women. You know, they, they want a good place to go to vault. And they said to Lucy, like, what's your vault experiment? And Lucy goes, oh, we don't have one. And Bertie's like, you're very naive. Um, and then they're going to like, they think they're going to go execute her. For punishment because she did violence on, on mm -hmm. a couple of the members. I loved this scene. Yeah. They, they're they, gonna they're gonna execute her. <laughs> and he takes the blade and he goes, <laughs> Yeah, and he's like, her. he's he like goes, we we death we, to banishment. Yeah, death by banishment. She's like, You're not gonna kill me? <laughs> and I'm going, Oh god, where's Maximus? And then he's just like <laughs> and then uh, Chris Parnell was the perfect person for that. And he's like, we yeah. need to get this knife sharpened. And he like, or the sword sharpened. He like hands it off and he like still trying to rip it with his hands. And they're like, you're going to die on the surface. So here's two weeks of supplies. And it's like brand new stuff. It's like water and new Coca-Colas. And, and Everybody's cheered. Yeah. And they're like, get her out of here. And, and, and then the Maximus steals the power cord and comes in with the power armor and let her go. And he, he like kills that one guy. He punches a dude so hard in the chest that he like flies 50 feet back. He goes, and, he goes can somebody check on him? Please? And, he just, uh, and he goes to him and he's just like, uh. <laughs> dude, that scene after being so tense was perfect. I laughed yep. my ass off. I thought it was such a good little extra. <sighs> this is a great show. It's like such a good show. And uh, they, Lucy convinces Maximus to give back the power core. Yeah. Leaves the armor there. And it seems like maybe Maximus has gone through an arc where he's a good guy now. Yeah. Which, you know, is okay. I prefer the bad guys, but that's me. Uh, then we get to the squire, who's who locks dog the dog in a uh, Nuka Cola thing, and like his, he takes his sock off his foot. I'm like, and his toes just like bent and hanging, and you then know his what, I'm like, you know what bothered me the most about that? Wasn't even seeing tell. it. Wasn't even seeing it that I could tell it was fake. How are you gonna put your sock back on? Yeah, like I, I was like genuinely like, why would you take your sock off? Yeah. You can tell your toes you aren't connected. Well, he takes that, it off he and puts on like four so times. Much pain, and he's just like, ah, ah. I assume he had a stim pack, so it at least numbed it, or maybe Medex or something, so it numbed it a bit. But still, like, mm, mm. And he he leaves the bag, and he goes to look for a radio tower and stuff like that. And he picks up a broadcast by your favorite character, DJ Carl, who's playing fiddle music. And I love how they're sitting there at the radio station. He's like, people don't like this. <laughs> Oh, we okay. So he picks up the fiddle music. Then he finds the snake oil guy and goes, "Hey, can you fix my foot?" Mm. And then the snake he gives him the power core, and the snake oil guy pulls out his thing. He puts it together, and like and all that of a sudden, his weird foot's, fucking like it's like jet, but it's not. <laughs> it's like an, it makes a liquid inhale. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And then we see his foot heal. Like in real his time. Toe is bent. Yeah. I think his toes bent the wrong way, but and he his, goes, Well yeah. And he, he says something about like going to Sadie Shan. Sadie Sand. Shady Sand. There you go. And then the guy goes, Well, you don't have to worry about radiation anymore and he walks out. And I was like, Oh, is he becoming like my first thought was, is becoming a mutant? That's superhero? what I thought too. I thought he just inhaled F E V. Yeah. Which I mean, who we might. 
and I'm like, that's going to be the if he if he goes into a ghoul, perfect. It's going to be the coolest character. If he turns into a super mutant, that's even better because yeah. it's going to be so cool. Well, how do you feel that we never got to see a super mutant other than the hand? I feel like we may. We may one. Why? Maybe. Maybe. Where, why, Kyle? Crawler. Why do you think? Seen that crow? Huh? Huh? Why do you th- Why do you think we might see something? Huh? Why? Why is I don't that? Know. Huh? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Or you think we're know. gonna You think we're gonna see some, uh, uh, you know, some sandy locations, Kyle? Huh? Maybe. You think we're gonna see maybe a maybe. mountain? You think we're gonna see maybe a maybe. mountain that's a color of a dark maybe. a dark tint? Yep. Think we might see a town by a little. Fe- oh shit, Kyle! I didn't even think about it. You know yeah. who's showing up? Boone's wife. Kyle, why would you say that? I just had like a PTSD <laughs> flashback of Boone's wife. <laughs> Poor Carla. No, Jacobstown. Yeah, that's what I mean. Damn, I didn't even think of that. Sorry, go on. I was thinking um, more Black Mountain. We're we're both back in the vault, and somebody poisons the food for all the raiders. Yeah. And they're all dead. Good. And then we get you know who it was suspicious of. It was uh, what's her name? The one with the uh, one eye. Oh, you think it was her? I think it was her because she I... said something about the mashed potatoes, and she wanted to kill them. I thought it was Norm because he was handling no, the food. I... I thought he snuck it in there. Nope, I think he ha- he didn't know anything, and then he's like, "Why?" Like, and then huh. she he asked her about, "Oh, what did my dad say about Volt 30, 31? And he said something about the mashed potatoes. She goes, "Oh, yeah, I can see the mashed potatoes are kind of different." Hmm. I liked her, and then I'm like, "Oh no, she's evil." She's no, I liked her a lot listen. until I found out she was from thirty one, and then I was like, "Oh, damn!" Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> then we get uh, Howard finds the dog. And calls him dog meat. Yeah. Yeah. And then your favorite radio station host has big ass booby traps. Yes. Of mouse traps. And yeah. <laughs> the yeah. Big traps. I just, I, I love how you know they let him just have fun. Yeah. He's like, it's the mids. It's, it's not on top. It's it. Like, just, he played Fred Armisen. He just did Fred Armisen. I was so happy that they let him just be him. And he's got like this sweater on. And I love that there's a sign that says the first sign you see says no requests. Then it says no trespassing. I loved that. Like that is the most like DJ thing. He's, he's just like, thank you for letting me use your radio. And he's just having a conversation with some. And he goes, I see you have a lot of, a lot, a lot of booby traps out there. And it's just like a big mouse trap with a dead body in yeah. it. And like the bear trap that you can obviously see. Yeah. But like people and are then, still dead in them. There was yeah. there was a wall of spikes, like a punji pit on the wall. And there was just whatever. And it's then, it's a very good scene. And then um, Maximus and Lucy show up, and and he, and uh, the squire meet, misses every shot of his pistol, and he goes, "Ah, I don't have a scope. I can't see." So. Yeah, how did you feel about that? Like, what was the point of that? Do you think that was a reference to something? Do you think that was supposed to be like a reference to missing in vats? No, maybe it may be a reference to like aiming like third person sideways and have not being able to scope in. Oh, you think that was like a Fallout Three ass reference? Maybe, maybe, but it might be a Vats thing too. Like, just some people are just bad. Oh, the only other thing I could think of is when you f- play Fallout One for the first time and you're like leaving the cave, and it's just like you missed, you missed, you missed, you yeah. missed. Rat yeah, turn. I think it, rat I missed, think it's rat gameplay. Missed. I think it was I didn't, a gameplay like joke. I didn't take it as a I didn't take it as a uh reference. I just was like, why did this happen? Yeah. And then he moves back and gets a freaking arrow through his neck. And he goes, Why am I not dead? And he pulls out on heels. Yeah, and Kyle Lucy when he said, Oh, you're becoming a ghoul. When he got shot in the neck, I legitimately went, No, <laughs> like out loud. I was like, No, I started to like yeah. him. <laughs> so so is it Ghouls can heal. I mean, so that's what they seem to be showing. He's not. He's not. Um, how do I want to put this? He's not Wolverine. Mm. You know what I mean? But like, would, that would explain why Howard got shot twice in the back. Did he though? He did. And he never pulled the bullets out. Nope. 
ghouls aren't why you put his finger back and then started moving around but ghouls aren't superhuman that i, I don't know. know i don't they're making it seem like whatever it's be your ghoulifying or something like that you have some sort of regenerative healing process mm. Um, and then we get back into the vault again as the Brotherhood are on their way to Lucy and them. And then Norman hacks the computer. We get the hacking screen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, yes. I and thought of you instantly. Through. Kyle, you know, you're the person who taught me how to hack. Yeah. I didn't know how to do hacking. it. I had no clue how to do it. And I was like, yeah, I never put skill points into science because if I can't hack a terminal, most time I could pick a door. And then I remember you were like, yeah, just, just look for the words and then do three yeah, of them and then look for the brackets. And I was like, okay, every time I, uh, every time I, what do you call it? Every time I play Fallout, I think of, think of Kyle. Well. Oh, we jumped ahead a little bit. Oh, you, but this is where he finds out Betty is a double agent for 31. And he goes into the vault. When things look glum, vote 31. 31. You know what's funny about that, too? It yeah. works so well that I sat there and went, why isn't Betty running? Like, that's how good the show is at, like, setting these characters up. I went, why is Betty not going to become... How many people from 31 do they just have running around in that vault? Because that old man with the mustache who doesn't match, I think he said he was from 31. Yeah. Well, they probably had a bunch. And then <laughs> some came from 32 and... I don't know. What if that's... What's it, what if that's... I'm thinking now, what if that's the... Experiment? They said what the experiment is. Yeah. But, like, that's why some go there and then some, some 32 happens. Like, 32, they all die. And then they repopulate it again. Oh, that's, like, the point. More. Yeah. Maybe. How, how like, I, I don't think we talked about it. Like, when they're repopulating 32, they come back in the vault and it's all nice and cleaned up. And yeah. you're just getting, Norma's getting flashbacks of, like. There's, like, a dead child. I was watching child that with my fiance like, going, like, she's going, like. Wait, what, what, why, how, how did they do Who this did one it? Night of, Who yeah. did it? Yeah. That's my question. Like yeah. that, it was fixed. <laughs> mm -hmm. 24 hours, they play a song. It's like, what a difference 24 hours can make. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, a lot of things are intentionally left up to who the fuck knows. And I'm kind of at the point where it's just like, I just want to see season two. And I know we're not getting it until 26. Well, we're on episode eight. Oh, are we? We're on episode eight. All right. Episode eight did something that I love. And it felt like it was a three hour long episode in the best way possible. Like that episode, every single second was used appropriately. Mm -hmm. It's like it when I watch Dracula up. flow, Dracula flow feel like the, the, that it's a four minute video. Dracula flow three is like a four or five minute video. It feels like it's two hours long in the best way possible. It's so good. It's so good. Fucking amazing, dude. Well, how, how do you so want to attack this? Like, what do you like? Let's, let's just go through it. Let's just go through it. Um, Maximus is bringing a fake head back. Yes. Cause the brother is on their way back. The Brotherhood completely fucking takes over Philly. Yeah, they Dude, take over Philly. I was pissed. Mm. I was pissed. It was like there was good people who lived here. They know that he was lying. Maximus was lying. They were going to execute him. And then the his friend is like, no, I put the razor blade in my, my boot. That killed me because you know he did it. And then, and then they punish Dane by having to go to the observatory. For doing but that then we learned something. The cleric wants to start a new brotherhood. Yeah. He wants to rule the brotherhood with Maximus at his side. So we're getting a brotherhood that's worse than any other form of the brotherhood. Because he's like, the brotherhood used to rule this way. Which flat. now we kind of know that I don't think Maxim is either in the print one or he's back in the Commonwealth or somewhere else. I didn't even think, I didn't even think of that. I wonder if he's alive. He might be dead. 
like, but somebody's in charge. Yeah, but the Brotherhood has always been like kind or of. Or that could be that other Prinwin. The one from Chicago? Maybe. They never say it was. There's so much stuff that we need to know. Yeah. How many they seasons do you think? The well, I'll, I'll, get to, I'll get to that at the end. Um, she reached the – all right, so Lucy made it to the observatory. Yeah. She looked at her map and it went – it made the XP noise. I, I, mm, little shit like that that is very much just like, look, remember this from the show? Look, 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 look. Remember this? You remember this? You remember this? You remember when you did this in the game? Remember that? It normally pisses me off and it like makes me smile. It's like you reached your destination. <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, you did. You put a little weight marker, didn't you, Loose? Like <laughs> Goosey." Um, then we went back to Howard, who's spying on his wife, a little bit more and stuff like that. And uh, so I wrote this down. This is in my notes. I didn't know where I wrote this down. I couldn't find it. So Lucy goes into observatory and sees Modeva, a ghoul woman. And her father in a cage. I thought the ghoul was Harold's wife. Oh, really? Like the Harold, tree? Harold was Harold's wife or daughter. The tree? No, like our ghoul, Harold. Howard. Oh, 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 our oh, oh, ghoul, oh. Yeah, Howard's wife or daughter. Why? I don't know. I thought it was like, oh, she's there with him and then it shows that and then it cut back to like him spying on his wife and stuff like that. So I was like, oh... It would make sense, like that would mm. he would she would yeah. Um, and then we find out the overseer of Volt Thirty One is a Robo Brain little Roomba. Oh, you know what his official credit is? I know Brain what it, on it, it a said, Roomba. It, but then it says voiced by Robert House. What? In the in the in the credit, like looking at the, like the the things. <laughs> like who voiced what? I saw something like voiced by Robert House. Ah uh, man, um, the Fallout Wiki. I'm getting recommended the Sam and Cat Wiki as I look at the Fallout Wiki. The <laughs> Fallout Wiki is just not ready. And I don't mean that no. in a bad way. They've been there was a I follow them on Twitter and they said they had a two hundred percent increase of people going to the website Holy this, like the past few days. Dude, I was forty percent of that. You know what I mean? And I've been off of the Fallout Wiki because I didn't want anything to be spoiled. Let me see if I can find. Because I was like, "Oh, that's interesting." Oh, brain in a Roomba. Yeah, Kyle. Amazon might have fucked up because I'm not seeing anything about House here. Yeah, let me let me see. Unless that all the Robotrons. And like Robo, like voice of brains are all has Robert House's voice. Because Robco, hold on, I, I have to watch a five second ad. It might, it, it might have just been me. Maybe I got to like before that one part that it brought it up. Yeah, ignore me, ignore me. It was I'll cut pre. That. I'll cut that. So we, this is a big, big, big thing for me. Okay. This next part. All right. Howard goes in the spy. Mm-hmm. And we have a meeting. Mm -hmm. There is a vault meeting going on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Between... Can I preface okay. a little bit? Yes. Moldover, Moldaver, before the war, gives him a listening device that he then pairs with her pit boy. Yeah. Cooper Howard doesn't want him to have, want her to have a pit boy, but they want all vault tech employees to be integrated with pit boys because all of the vaults are getting pit boys. So yep. almost like a Bluetooth connection, and it doesn't go that far. It actually has like the same distance as my Bluetooth headphones that I wear every day. Um, he ha he makes an excuse to go in to listen to what is going on. Yeah. So then he's like get to see the waiting movie. for Betty. Yeah. He's waiting for Barb, and we meet. We don't meet. Yeah. We waiting for Barb. Um, and there's a Voltec meeting between mm -hmm. Bud, who's Voltec, head yes. of Voltec. Bud Atkins. Uh, Barb. Barb uh, Howard, see somebody running uh, Robco, mm -hmm. somebody from West Tech, somebody from Big MT and Repcon. Yes, um, and it's our boy. It's our boy. It's, it's Robert House. Edwin House. Robert House. So, did you uh, get to see that, that fresh, or did that get ruined for you on Twitter? No, I saw. I saw the the map. I did not see. 
Okay, congratulations, because I would have fucking creamed my jeans, big fella. <laughs> if I would have saw that happen, I would have been like, what? Like, I love Mr. House. Like, I told you I just bought all New Vegas again. I, I'm, I'm really tempted to do a house run, and I'm also really tempted to do a Legion run. Because I love the Legion. So a new like thing and was... something you've done already. I know, you know what I mean? Do I do the new thing or the thing I've done a billion times? And with House is nice because you get to go do everything. Yeah. Uh, I wrote their names down. Please. So we have Robert House from oh, Rob. Oh, hold on. I just had West it open Tech, on here. West Tech was Leon Von Felden. Mm-hmm. Big Mountain was Frederick Sinclair. Mr. Sierra Madre himself. Wait, 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 wait. Shut the fuck up. What? It's the guy who made Sierra Madre. Is who? Because then Frederick Sinclair, Big Mountain, because House goes, hey, Freddy, you'll lose money running a casino. I didn't, I didn't pick up on that. Hold on. Yep. Shut the fuck up. Yep. Because if you go look at Sinclair, his picture is in there now. This guy. Hold on, I'm looking at Aspirin Dane. I'm trying to find it. Okay, I'm looking at it right now. Robert House for Robco, right? Yep. Leon Von Felden for Thing. West Tech. West Tech. Julia Masters for Repcon, which doesn't Robco acquire Repcon? Maybe a little bit later. Well, yeah, this is, they never give us a date, but there's nothing here. <coughs> uh,. He's drop on a vault tech conference with like-minded corporations that make America great. The meeting is headed by Bud Adkins, Askins, involving Robert House, Leon Van Felden, Julia Masters, but doesn't have... It's in, it's in the who's playing who. It says Frederick Sinclair. I'm trying to find the line because House says something about Freddie will lose money running a casino. And Sinclair, Freddie Sinclair is the Sierra Madre. Holy shit, Kyle, I didn't fucking pick that up at all. <laughs> I'm looking at it now. You can find him. He's way <laughs> fatter than I thought. Like, he's he's bagging this, like, superstar uh, crooner woman. I don't have my glasses on. I knew I was going to do that, too. That's crazy. That's why I don't think the guy for, for Vault Tech would still be alive because everyone else is dead. The only person is, that's not dead is fucking House because he put himself in a cryogenic sleeping chamber. He goes, he says, you're one to talk, Freddy boy. You could lose money running a casino. Holy shit. I didn't take that as the Sierra Madre. I took that as them going, this is House. This is House. This is Robert Edwin House. The guy who owns 38, he's supposed to be like Howard Hughes. Like, I, wow. I, it might also be like a thing to him too. Like, oh, for, you could be run, losing money running casino because Sierra Madre fails when House doesn't fail. Okay. Also, there is right. somebody in like the rafters. There's two people like taking yeah. notes. But then there's a figure standing there yes. watching them all. Who do you think that is? Either somebody we never met before that's pulling all the strings, or yes. that's the president. I think it's Enclave. Enclave? I think it's I think it's an Enclave representative. Hmm. That's what I think. I think it's Enclave who's watching over the meeting. And the whole point of the vault is so they can defeat their enemies by time. Yeah. Because even when the world's over, we still have to worry about capitalism and taxes. Yep. Uh, and then they want to fill Vault 31 with Buds. Bud Buds, the Buds. Brain. Yeah, Bud so the, hold on. Like back up, back up. They let Norm into Vault 31 because they think it's Which Betty. Which is just, yeah. And it's the robot on a Roomba. It's just a robo brain, but it's a Roomba instead of a it's brain. It's like Bud's, either Bud's brain or like yeah. Bud. It's Bud's brain. Yeah. And he's on and this he, like Yeah. And all this vault is filled with is cryo chambers of Vault Tech scientists and management and stuff like that. So Vault thirty one can be filled with Buds Buds, the best of the best. Yeah. 
It's it's his guys that he's training that have been frozen for yep. two hundred years, and then it cuts back to the real world and you or the pre war and you see that Hank McLean is the dude who grabs like coffee for Betty. Oh, before Not that, Betty. what's her name? Bar. We get the map. We get oh, the map, the map. Over all the votes. Okay. Did uh, you look? She said a uh, hundred votes spread. Did you look at all the? Did you look at all the map? Did you look at all the the dots? I did. What's the first place and you went said, to? What's the first place you went to? Well, over in DC. Oh, really? Yeah. First place to look for was Where Colorado. Because mm. I live here, but also, um, in tactics. Because remember, I brought up how tactics is now canon all of a sudden. Tactics. First off, the part of Colorado I'm in, without doxing myself, I can see NORAD from where I am. Like, I, w- I can walk outside of my apartment right now, and I can look t- in a direction, and I'll see NORAD. You know, the Santa Claus people, Kyle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll see NORAD, and then in tactics, there is a vault there. I think it's actually Vault Zero, if I'm not mistaken, is um, for NORAD. It's like right there. So it shows Denver, which is north of me, and then a little south where NORAD is, it shows another cluster of vaults. Over 100 vaults spread across America. Enough for each of you to claim several, she Mm -hmm. tells them, to do whatever they want to with their own ideas. And you hear what House said? Uh, House did, like doesn't want anything to do with it. Yeah, he's like thirty two and thirty three are supposed to incorporate their scientists so they can breed and create better humans so they can then go up and stuff like that. But then a bunch of them start mentioning ideas. Um, there's one that says overcrowding a vote that they have to vote. Mm-hmm. Vote governed by a milk bot. Did we ever see that? Adult. I don't think so. Because I read uh, that, I was like, oh, turning, turning illegal immigrants into super immune soldiers. Yes. Drugs in the air supply. Yeah. Separating parent and children. Yeah, that's in four. Mm-hmm. That's eighty-eight and four. And then we we and then uh, Howard's listening, and it's like, come on, Barb, like you snap them in the line. I really want to know. I really want to know how you feel about this. She goes something about that we would have to drop the bombs ourselves. Okay. Thus confirming, or at least implying, that Vault Tech is the ones who dropped the bomb. Yep. It is never flat out said, but it's implied that Vault Tech is thinking about it. This yep. is where I'm surprised none of the discourse has come from. Why? None of the discourse has come from the bombs dropping. And it's wild to me because honestly, it doesn't matter. Like, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. The world has ended. It doesn't matter why the world has ended. The world has just finished doing what it was doing before, which was existing as we knew it, right? It shouldn't yeah. matter who drops the bombs. Also, Tim Kaine, the man who invented Fallout, did an interview with TKS Mantis recently, like, within, the, within a, a year's time, where Tim Kaine confirms it was the Chinese originally who bombed. Now, Kyle, you and I have known each other for a very long time, yeah. right? You remember I used to yell at you from across the hall about Assassin's Creed? Yeah. I was in meteorology and you were in the computer class and I used to yell at you. Good times. Uh, back then, I remember talking to you about the fan theory that vault Tech nuked the world. Because why wouldn't they? Because they wanted to make yeah, all the money. Would- because they need to instill fear. Mm-hmm. If you play, I want to say it's... It's, they even show you in this, but I want to say it's either three or four. They talk about how China was getting beaten. Yeah. China we're was taking losing land the land back from we were taken Russia. back. We were taking back Anchorage. We were taking back all this shit, right? So why wouldn't it be that vault Tech dropped the bombs? Yeah. I'm surprised more people are not talking about this on Discord. But I saw – or not on Discord, on Twitter. But I saw someone get upset that the poster for the show, Lucy doesn't have a fat ass and used AI to make her, her ass fat. That's what we're worried about. That's what we're worried about. And people's illiteracy when it comes to reading chalkboards. 
That's what we're worried about. The same people that love New Vegas, that 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 say all this bad shit about Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 because the game holds your hands a little more than New Vegas does, needs their fucking handheld to explain to them what is going on. They don't even confirm that vault drops the bombs. They just confirm that vault thought about it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah. And then and Tim Kaine said the original idea was that China found out that the U.S. was producing FEV and nuked them because they knew they were going to lose. They said, fuck it. Mutually assured destruction. Get it over with. 17-minute war. Yeah. Bomb, 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 that, bomb. It's that over. That could still be the thing, too. It, exactly. Yeah. That's but this, but this is what I'm saying, though. Okay. This is why I think it's, it, it is. It is what? It is China. Okay. That did it. Because I don't think Barb would let her daughter be out there when the bombs are dropping. Oh, valid point. And you would have think that she would have known at some point in time, okay, we're going to drop mm -hmm. bombs at this time because mm -hmm. she knew yes. we got to get them in a good one. She we knew, gotta... yep. But Kyle, that's what I'm saying. That's what upset me so much is that I got to that point and I was like, oh, and I thought the war never changes bit was a little cheesy. I mean, he had to have it. And then it, Howard hears it, and then Howard says it at the end. Yeah, and he says it again. Yeah. Like, that last 15 minutes of episode 8, where, where like... I, this, this seeing House and seeing these characters we've heard about, and, like, it's just, like... And then, and then we learn that her other assistant is Betty. Yes! Yes! That's another reason why I was getting them all mixed around. I, I remember when that happened and they're like, 31 is filled with all of Bud's buds. And then it like zoomed in on Betty. I went, oh my God, how did I not realize that? Yeah. I, what's sick about Betty is I like her. Like, even yeah. though I know that she's part of this evil program, I still like Betty. Isn't that yeah. fucked? Like, I yeah. still like her because she reminds me of like a grandmother character. Also, what the fuck is Jello cake? Have you it's ever heard of Jello cake with Jell on top? Have you ever had that? Have you ever heard no, of that? No. Like, like that one guy said, he goes, "I don't know why they like Jello cake. They just like Jello." <laughs> At first, I thought maybe uh, they were trying to control people with that. I was like, "Is that part of the experiment here?" Um, and then we go. Hold on, we're. Then we learned that. Hank, Big Bank is Betty is uh, Barb's assistant. Yeah, like a young Kyle McLaughlin. We see him meet Howard, and sh and uh, and Howard's Aldover trying to he's trying to process that. him hearing that Vault Tech wants to annihilate the world to sell things. Yeah, and he's like, yeah. oh, all this commie gobbledygook, this and that. And his it. wife's the fucking like the head of it, not the head of it, yep. but she's a she's a, a jingoist for it, and. He's meeting this, and they did a. They didn't do a great job with the CGI to make Kyle McLaughlin younger. They pulled that Samuel Jackson and Captain Marvel. You know what I mean? And yeah. uh, I could, I didn't care, but it was one of those. It was a little too distracting for me type things where I was like, okay. Um, and and then we get back to Lucy Moldova and Hank because she just told us that, and she was saying something about that that scene where Moldova is telling Lucy the truth, and Hank is like talking over her. Yeah, is fucking amazing. Also, because I know it couldn't happen in the game because they have such a hard time having two people talk at once. <laughs> but um, like, and we learned that his mother, her mother, found something in the water that made it that it, it was, was a, a siphoning of water top. reserves or something was yeah. enough to let her understand that there might be something else going on outside. And then she told Hank something happened, and she took the kids and went to Sadie Shantz. And then Hank decided, Kane. cool, you want to take my kids out of the vault? I will glass Shady Sands over. Yep. And he, he – which I want to know how he had access to that nuke. I guess Bud's I Buds mean, just have – Yeah. Which that makes me think that they're Enclave. Could be. Like I, I – Enclave – like Kyle, I'm not trying to be like, well, I just did this thing on the Enclave. But I just did the thing on the Enclave. You know what I mean? Like, and, and, and I said in the lore segment that there is a ton of vault or, uh, excuse me, there's a ton of enclave that just got 
ta- a, a bunch of government organizations and companies just got taken over by Enclave. They just had one person put in charge and that's it. So I that's why I think uh, Viltzig knew who Lucy was because of not only he would be able to see it through all of the other vault stuff, like being able to see the vaults because he's Enclave, but also because he probably knew Hank. Yeah. He probably met Hank at some point in or time. Or he came from Vault 31. You think so? It's been going on for how many years? So I was have... thinking that too, but I don't know how that would work. I don't know. And like, see, I don't think that Vault or them have like a nuke or something like that. So what's going through my mind here? Now listen. What's going through my mind is how they got this nuke. Yeah. Remember in uh, Lonesome Road? Yeah. So you think it's that? Fine. I mean, where else would they find a nuke? Of Hopeville? Hope you think it's all Spy? Hopeville stuff? Yeah. That's that's what's going through my head of like, where in California-esque, New Vegas-esque, yeah. you know, like where would they have a nuke? Because they nuked it. It's a big nuke, bomb they, too. They, yeah. But like and like, again the the themes of Fallout. God damn it! This fucking stone thing I'm playing with. The themes of jealousy, the themes of like, well, why why can't you? Why can't it be this way? The idea that they want to form like a utopian society based on management. And oh well, if this isn't being done this way, then it's not gonna work. Mm-hmm. Like, man, the show's fantastic. Is. And then getting to find out that the ghoul that's at the table with Moldova is Lucy's mom. Dude, that means she became a ghoul immediately. We also know that the thing that they brought is actually the cold fusion yes. thing to supply like unlimited energy and all that. And then the boneyard is completely powered. But now it's... What, you, and the code. Did you get spoiled about the code? Uh, yeah, I saw someone put the code on Twitter. This is what I'm saying. Like I, I, I got every yeah. fucking spoiler, dude. When Fallout yeah. Five gets announced, I'm throwing my phone in the ocean. <laughs> like I, I'll, I'll, I'll be damned. That's another thing. Like I put it in the Discord. If there's any, if there's any spoilers whatsoever, there's no discussion. You're gone. Yeah. There's no discussion. You're fucking gone. The next Elder Scrolls and the next Fallout game that comes out, if there is any spoilers whatsoever, I, you, firing squad. Like it, you're gone. I don't even care if it's a screen grab of what a sign looks like, a Nuka Cola sign. Gone. Like, uh, yeah, this. I yeah, wish the I code to unlock the thing. Is... It's ten ten ninety seven, which is when Fallout yeah. One came out. Very beautiful little nod. Yeah. And then and then they lock Norman in the Vault Thirty One. They lock him in. Uh, he cries. He he considers getting into his dad's cryopod. Yeah, but but suggests you can go into your dad's cryopod. It's and so then dark. the Brotherhood are on their way. Okay, so this scene when the Brotherhood lands and starts taking down uh, the observatory, which we kind of learn that they are basically NCR. Yeah, Run it's it's event. okay. So th- it says NCR headquarters, right? Do you have yeah. the episode open? Can you can you scroll to it? Yes. So let me. I'm almost there. It's either a royal. It says or New California Republic headquarters, and they're so all rushing out. Headquarters. It doesn't say the capital. Capital. No. Nope. So it doesn't say the capital. So the NCR nope. still exists. They're still exists. So and it they're still exists. carrying the flag and shit like that. Hold too. on a second. This so is- yeah, they're still carrying the flag. There's a bunch of NCR flags in yeah. the fucking observatory. The yeah. If a country, guess what? Yugoslavia is no longer a, a recognized country. It doesn't exist anymore. There's still people that probably identified as Yugoslavian. You know what I mean? Like, Germany gave up a large piece of its land to become Poland after World War I. You don't think those people still identify themselves as Germans? Like, why do you think Hitler had such an easy time invading Poland? Because the people who still believe they were Germans were like, we're German. You know what I mean? Even though now technically they live in Poland, they're Polish citizens. To them, I was born in Germany. It transferred over to, this isn't me trying to justify anything in World War II. I'm just saying, look at it from a Polish slash German person's perspective who, who is now German and, or was German and is now Polish. You know what I mean? What a, you, yeah. you just Kyle, just because I left Pennsylvania doesn't mean I wasn't a Pennsylvanian. Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Like yeah. So we so we got we got Brotherhood. They're invading and killing, and then we get the cool. I love Howard. Uh, yeah. And Howard's just standing there, and he's loading in his gun. He goes, you know, there's a flaw on that armor, and he freaking shoots like a drill bullet, and it just goes in past the armor, and he just explodes inside. Yeah. He goes, you probably feel like a dark. big man, don't you? Yeah. He pulls the fusion core out, and the whole room goes dark. And Some, it's just uh, someone messaged me and was like. A friend of mine messaged me and was like, hey, don't you think that's kind of bullshit that he's fighting Max- Maximus in Philly and is having like a hard time getting thrown around and then he just instantly knows how to kill people at the observatory? And I was like, yeah, but maybe he could tell Maximus didn't know what he was doing and he didn't want to he's kill him. With him. Yeah. Like that was – I was like, shut up. Be quiet. Silly, silly man. And then uh, that happens. Uh, Maximus comes in and frees – uh, Hank and Lucy's like no he's responsible for Shady's hand when he shot the, the lock off I was like no like, oh. talk Lucy talk tell him <laughs> before and then Hank gets into the power armor with the power yeah. armor comes walking in with no helmet yeah that was dope Yeah, I forgot about that the guy just like the body keeps going Kyle yeah. if I ever find my, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna start speaking things into existence right if I ever find myself on the set of the Fallout show, for whatever reason, you know, who knows? I w- again, talk these things into existence. Yeah. I want to wear that suit of power armor because apparently anybody could get into it. <laughs> I have a feeling I get out of that power armor and there will be an immense sadness inside of me that will never be filled. There are a few things in my life that I really, really want to do that I'm afraid that if I do them, like, I have no other reason to live. Like, like not, not like in a bad way. Like, I'm not saying I'm, like, suicidal. I'm saying it like, you know, what do you do after you've reached your goals? What happened to the boy who got everything he wanted, like they say in Willy Wonka? You know what I mean? Like, dude, think about how cool that would be to just walk around. It's just super lame. But, like, I was at the gym today before we recorded. And I've been doing – you ever see those stair machines where it's just, like, three yeah. stairs that you continue? Kyle, my favorite activity at the gym. I was on there for 40 minutes. I did 150-something flights of steps. My shirt, when I got off, looked like I just got done swimming. Love it. Nice nice sweat to start the day. I was what's walking. Your, what's, your, what's your thought? Like, oh, I'm walking into the office Dude, I was, No, I was, I was, I was like, because I was doing it slow because I'll do five minutes on like a higher uh, difficulty and then I'll do it like five minutes on a lower difficulty and go back and forth so I'm not dying. And I was walking and I like took my arms off and I started walking. I was like, oh, shit. I feel like a brotherhood Wait, knight. you took your arms off? Yeah, they, they pop off. Like Lego men? Yeah. No, I took my arms off like the, the handles that like get your heart oh. rate. Sorry. I took my hands off that. So I had my arms on my side. And I'm like walking. And I was like, I don't want to see tomorrow. And I put that on. And I was like, like I was starting to like tear up a little bit. Like this, dude, I, I, Kyle. You know how originally upset I was about Fallout 4, how originally upset I was about 76, and I've come around on Fallout 4, and I want to play 76 again, and it's just like, ah, man, I, like, this is what I can only imagine getting reacquainted with a long-lost lover is like. Like, not even that, it's like, yeah, we're having sex again, but it's like, yeah, we're, I know they're safe. I know that there's other people that care about it. Like, I know, ah, ah, dude. That scene where they're fighting at the observatory, where they're going at each other, I started crying. And I, again, I know how whack it is to be like, I just keep crying throughout this entire show. I felt like a little kid, man. I felt like I was in, I felt like I was in sixth grade, and I was, I took the, I didn't get to take the, t- the day off of school. My parents did let me, but the night before, I went to the midnight release for Fallout New Vegas. And the next day, I got on Xbox, and I'm in sixth grade, dude. What happened in sixth grade to you? Remember how innocent everything was? Remember how fucking easy everything was? And I remember going home and playing New Vegas and learning the New Vegas lore and learning about the older games lore. And I watched the guy with the flag run out and beat the shit out of some squire. And I went, take it back. I went, take it all back. In the name of Aradesh, in the name of Tandy, take it the fuck back. You deserve it. Like genuinely engaged genuinely invested i can't get oh i kyle i really can't get over how good the show is like unless i get like 
Kyle, fucking hold on a second. Let me explain Holy. you a thing. Let me explain you a fucking thing. <laughs> explain away. We make a list at the end of the year every year, right? For like the past yeah. three or four years. One of my, f yeah. my favorite thing about the end of the year. You know what my list looks like so far? Fallout, Fallout. It's Fallout, Fallout, Fallout. Godzilla, Joker, Mad Max. Dude, I'm fucking Ultraman probably again because I've been watching it more. I found Boba Bo 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 online where I could watch the whole <laughs> series again. Dude, I like that's my list. Like I know what my list looks like. I know what my list for video games looks like already. You know what I mean? Like it's mm -hmm. I, I mean not, you know, anything could happen. I could play something new for the first time and it changes whatever. But like dude, ah, I'm so fucking like I'm excited again. <laughs> Kyle, do you remember what I was like this to begin with? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, like I'm just so like I'm so happy. I'm just happy. Like I have no other words to put it. Like I yeah, maybe it sucks that my happiness is derivative of the properties I enjoy, but fuck you. Like the the properties I enjoy, they make me happy. That's part of being alive is enjoying things. You ever think about how weird it is that you enjoy things? Like why do you like why do you like D Doctor Who and I don't? Why? Um. Because your fucking brain goes, story. your brain goes, I like this. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, isn't that wild how little control you really have over your likes, your wants, your needs? Like, I, this, this, the first, like, I didn't even say it on the last thing we did about this. The first episode of this, I almost asked if you were recording. <laughs> um, the, one Are of you the, recording? I'm recording. I, yeah. The first episode of this, the first or second episode of this, when they show the wasteland, I went and I was like, I really want this to happen. Not like the show, like the end of the world. <laughs> like I was excited to see the end happening in real time. I'm already on bottle number two. <laughs> what a fantastic ending. Wow. And to see, to see Moldaver hold. Oh, and also you say what you're going to say. You're going to, sorry. I well, just kind of, well, went on we're, well, 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 we're, uh, Howard shows up. For Hank. And he said, I've been waiting 200 years for this. He goes, where's my wife and child? He shows up and, and goes, Hank's he shows smiles. up and goes, this motherfucker used to get my wife's coffee. Where is my family? Where the fuck is yeah, my family? Where are they? And so Hank's already in the power of life. And Hank just smiles and then flies away. Do you think they're in 31? Because she said the vault... Think she said the vault was managing other vaults. Maybe. Either that was my 31 thought. And they have to go back to 31 or they're somewhere where Hank's going to. Where does Hank go? Huh? I, huh? Hank, where do you okay. think Hank's going? Huh, Kyle? Huh? You want to, hey, away. Kyle, you want to make a bet? You want to make a bet on where Hank might be going? Huh? You want to, hey, Kyle, you want to roll the dice? Huh, pal? You want to put 50 large on black and yet. bet? Okay. <laughs> We're not there yet. <laughs> um, and then Howard says war never changes. Yeah. And, it, and he, offers, but not even war never war does war never changes war never changes it's all factions as soon as they figure figure out something another faction comes in fucking phone what are you looking at he says war never changes you look at out at this wasteland like looks like chaos but there's always somebody behind the wheel yeah and that's who I want to talk to the person behind the wheel and then you see Hank and run away. And he said, away. that's where your daddy is headed. And then... And he, he, she, he offers Lucy to come with. Howard offers Lucy to come with. Maximus is unconscious. He wakes up. Oh, and we, then we, didn't see even, we didn't even talk about how Lucy invites Maximus to come back to 33. Yeah. Uh, which, that's fine. Whatever. Like, it doesn't bother me. Um, I accidentally spoiled something for myself because I went on the wiki to type in Lucy McLean because I want to make sure I was say spelling her last name right. And mm -hmm. it's spoiled for me that on the wiki, it just says that they're together, that Lucy's boyfriend is Maximus. And I was like, why? <laughs> like, why? Like, I mean, they kissed. It doesn't mean that they're in a relationship. Like, you're not in a relationship with me until you've 
I'm going to censor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we see Moldover activate the cold fusion. Yes. And Maximus and her watch as the light to the bone light yard. up LA. Yeah. You know, and that was Vault Tech stuff prior. Like, that's why I love how the little pill thing says Vault Tech on it. Yeah. But also, like, it can only be accessed by a Vault Tech employee because they changed it. You know, I saw someone had a vault. It's a really cool tattoo. They had a Vault Tech tattoo on the back of their neck. So, like, right here was the little Vault Tech logo. And I remember mm -hmm. seeing that and going, Vault Tech's an evil corporation. And now it looks like that evil corporation owns you at the same time. That's really dope. That's <laughs> really cool. <laughs> Um, and then she's dying, and she holds Lucy's mom's hand, who's dead. She, Lucy killed her yeah, mom. Yeah, we didn't even talk ghoul. about that. When you find out that, that she's uh, the ghoul that's there, Lucy Mercy kills her mom. Yeah. Which I liked, because Lucy knew that the Brotherhood was just going to come up and defile her. Yeah. So she took care of it, and I Moldaver holds her hand. God, we didn't see a single laser rifle shot, a plasma shot. We only we saw ballistics. That's what I heard, too. I heard somebody goes, we didn't see any energy weapons being shot off. Which I want to – like you see Moldaver walk around with a, a, mm -hmm. like a laser pistol, but I was like, we're not going to see any – we didn't see – we didn't see a lot of creatures – yeah. You really well, only saw like three. What are you talking uh, yeah. about? What are you talking about? Huh? You'll see, you'll see. What do you mean I'll we'll, see? We'll huh? talk about that, but, uh, huh? but uh, what? She tells she tells Maximus, what do you think would have happened if your brotherhood had gotten a hold of infinite power? And she said, You can change or uh you can change them or like something about like going against the brotherhood or something like that. I think ultimately Maximus is going to become the bad guy. Do you think? I think ultimately he will be. I think it's because he'll see the prospect of power and wanting to have a name for himself and a home. Because even the High Elder says to him, he's like, you've wanted a home your entire life. Mm. Build up the brotherhood with me and you'll have that home. I think he's going to play. I think we're going to see in season two. Should we talk about that now or a little bit later? Talk like about what? Theories. What we think season two is going to be. Let's once we've once we've gotten to uh, you know we'll put all of our chips in one corner and then we can talk all about. Right. <laughs> she said, um, "Do you see what the Brotherhood can do? Maybe you can stop them. Maybe you can't. Maybe all of you all you can do is try." And then she dies. And then uh, his friend comes in and goes, "Did you kill her?" And then they start all hailing. Maximus, Knight mm -hmm. Maximus. Yeah, they like instantly just make him knight. Mm -hmm. They're like, here you go. You're knight now. But like no elder is there. So my question is, do paladins not exist? I I don't know. Because I don't know what the if I delivered unlimited infinite energy to the Brotherhood, I'd be like, I'm a fucking sentinel. Yeah. No? Yeah. See, I, I feel like a lot of like the Sentinels or Paladins are not with them or over here. Because mm, it didn't seem like they, well, it didn't seem like they had any Knights in the Brotherhood until the Pridwin showed up. Yeah. So If maybe. that's the Pridwin. It, or, yeah. Who knows, dude? Who knows? We we see Lucy is now traveling with Howard and Dogmeat as yes. the Hollywood sign lights up. We see it, like, almost like an explosion, but the sun rising as Power Armor Hank Walks up to a death claw skull. A what? He did what? A death Kyle? claw skull. A death claw skull. As we see on the horizon of where he's headed, and he is headed to New Vegas. What? Which doesn't look destroyed, but during the end destroyed. credits, it does. Yeah. It's also there's nothing else around Vegas. Like I tried looking for Freeside. Yeah. Like I try I, I I only can imagine that they're they we gotta be real though, that it's probably quite a bit away from where like stuff is probably miles away than in game. Yeah, travel, yeah, yeah. You know if you I mean? were to I mean, uh when I was supposed to go to Vegas last year, um the drive from Good Springs to Vegas is about a forty to fifty minute drive. Yeah, it's so maybe like forty miles away. Yeah. But so okay, we got like who's running Vegas? Okay, so 
they show you Vegas being pulled out, and there's a bunch of dead Securitrons, and it looks like the 38 is An NCR down. crash vertebrate. I think there's one of two things. The Legion won, and uh, the, the, then shortly after, Caesar has died, and Lanius doesn't know how to do it. Like, just genuinely doesn't know how to run them. He only knows how to fight. Or uh, NCR won, and NCR ruined it. Now, I have a theory for you. Please. Or what House. If House win? I, that's House won. That's where Hank's going. To House, because he knows of House. Like, I House can imagine won, that they all fought. Like, there was a big, probably big, like, fight. And New Vegas, you know, Vegas, that's why some Securitrons are destroyed, like there's stuff destroyed, but I think House won. I could see, okay, so it's either going to come down to House winning, it's either going to be like an independent thing, or it's going to be um, Caesar's Legion. Hmm. And I think even if the Legion wins, House will probably be alive. But I think, I think... House wins, House gets installed into Hoover Dam, and then the mm -hmm. NCR that are there start flipping shit, and they start shooting at Securitrons, and it's like an internal thing that mm -hmm. because who knows, maybe even maybe we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna see so much. We're yeah. gonna see the Kings. Yeah. Yeah, do you know how this would have been part Bassy Perry would have been Benny. Well, Benny's dead. There's like only one way that Benny doesn't die, and then I could wow. be wrong because I never remember if this is cut content or not. But he comes back and kills you, so then you kill him. Well, okay. It, are we are we considering us as the player character canonical? Yes, but I don't think the courier is that important. Hmm. Like I think the courier was there, but. They're probably going to have a courier, like, in flashbacks. Like, we're probably going to see a courier. And I just think that the courier is going to fall for this. Honestly, it's House. I, as much it's as house. I love the Legion, it's House. It, it's, just make, it, makes, it sense makes the most sense for it to be House. A Voltec, Robco person. But, you know but I mean? house, house makes it seem like he didn't want anything to do with it. House even talks in-game about, like, how the vaults didn't guarantee anything. So, I like... House buys Vault 21. Like, he wins Vault 21. You know what I mean? So, like... He filled all of Vault 21, right? No, he filled the lower levels. So, it's just, like, a common area and some bunking okay. rooms. Because it's also a casino. Okay. Why? I had a theory of, like, maybe something was in Vault 21 that House didn't even know about. Maybe they could retcon it. Who knows? Yeah. But I, why, would, why would Vault Tech... Un, why would Vault Tech put that there if House didn't already own the rights to it? Like, they could retcon some shit where he won the, the, the Vault back because he cheats in that card game to get Vault 21, but he could have hit some shit in there and there's something down there that's just for him. Yeah. That's like... The, like, there's a lot of, like... With me, that's why it's kind of hard to, like, guess because, like... What... What did our player character do that made it canon? Made stuff canon? Yeah. Because if our courier died, then there was no I, f going finding Benny. Benny was still at the in the strip and like. I think everything you know I mean? in New Vegas happens up until the death of Benny. Okay. And so like, I think the courier meets with Caesar. I think that um, the president. Kimball, I think, uh, probably he's assassinated. Oh, what if he gets assassinated? Yeah. He's probably yeah, assassinated then, then, because it's going to fall into more of the fall of, fall of Shady Sands. The, the yeah. fall of NCR. Because Shady Sands is the capital. That's where the president is. The president's yeah. now dead. It's going to throw the entire economy, the entire civilization into disarray. Kimball's dead. No question about yeah. it. Kimball's dead. Yeah. Hoover Dam, I think, is absolutely run by House. I think House owns control... I think I think NCR citizens or NCR soldiers are going to start thinking that House and Caesar were working together, but I also think that the courier is going to die at the Battle of Lanius. I don't think he's making it out of that, genuinely. Mm. 
And I and like I, I for as much as this season has pissed off Fall Out fans, I can't wait to see next season and see how much they get pissed off again. Like <sighs> that's the beauty of these games is you can play them however you want. Just because one You're thing right. is canon doesn't mean you can't go back and do something else. Just silly, just fucking silly, man. So what do you think? What do, so are we? So that was episode eight. That was episode yeah. Eight. That was episode eight. We've been talking about it for like an hour. <laughs> Where do you think season two is going? Vegas. <laughs> uh, well, I mean Vegas, but like, where do you think our story is? Like, so our main story, our main objective is Howard and Lucy are going to find Hank. Howard's trying to find Hank because he wants to know where his wife and child are. Yeah. And whoever is behind all of this shit. Who's behind Vault Deck? Who's behind, you know? Yeah. Maximus is also trying to find Lucy, but now he's going to be in the Brotherhood big time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like there's going to have a big, like, Brotherhood impact of, like, I think we're going to get Civil Brotherhood Civil War in Season 2. Like, like I wouldn't be surprised we see the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood getting run over by that version of Brotherhood. I feel like now they're going to be like, we're going to have our own Brotherhood. Yeah. You know, Max, whoever's leading, maybe it's Max, Ma- Maxim. Or not, I think there's going to be conflict. I think there's going to be infighting. In I want to know who's next in line to Maxim. I don't know. I also think it's kind of dumb that the character's name is Maximus, and then we will probably be introduced to Maxin. They're mm. too similar of names. But that's just me. So I, I, I feel like we're going to have separate, because like, I don't think, hmm, that's the thing, it's like, how do we incorporate the Brotherhood being over by New Vegas? I think they're going to reach out to the Mojave chapter. I think we're going to see the Mojave chapter be like, we're really down on our luck. There's nothing we can do. We have to let them in. Like, they're going to be like, yeah, we're evil. We're, we're you know, this and that. But they're going to be like, if we do this, then we die. Because the elder, the highest elder from the west coast left or was in dc so the dude who's like in charge of the brotherhood as a whole is in dc is it then in boston yeah i i feel like we might see because like that the energy is now in i guess activated so like do the brotherhood now have that access to that energy because they can just take yeah. it out from that yeah, thing. Yeah, because, the, I mean, at least the wiki makes it sound like the observatory is owned by the Brotherhood. Mm. But here's my thing as well, Kyle. Hoover Dam is presumably running. Yeah. So if Hoover Dam is running, LA and, like, Hoover Dam was supposed to power all of NCR. That's why they wanted it. So now... Hoover Dam is running and you have uh, Cold Fusion? Unlimited Cold Fusion? Yeah. I want to take a look because take a look. it might just because it's daylight but I'm looking at New Vegas right yeah. now. Can you send me a picture? Can you take a picture and send it to me? Yeah, and you do see like smoke coming from houses. So they're like not in New Vegas itself but mm-hmm. like well, kind of in New Vegas, but I never realized until looking at this photo of New Vegas that it's kind of small. Where's the camp? Where's the airfield? Did you send it to me? Oh, I'm sending it to you now. That's what I'm saying. Like, McCarran's not there. I can't see any of Westside. I can't see anything of Freeside. Like, it's just a barren city. Like, there's just that city. Unless Vegas has now incorporated Westside and Freeside into it. Yeah. Unless it's on the other side and we can't see from this angle. Nah, dude. Vegas isn't that big. I think we would... Because I think we'd be able to see it. There's no mountain that's there. You can walk from the one gate outside of Vegas to McCarran, no problem. Yeah. Kyle, do you have any final thoughts about this? Uh, I love this show and I'm so excited for season two. It's it's the best video game adaptation I've ever seen, I think. Like, honestly. Like, I think it's better than The Last of Us. I'll say it. It is. It it's is. better than The Last yeah. Did you see the it bottle is. bobblehead? 
No. In the Vertibird, when they're attacking Santa Monica, not Santa Monica, when they're attacking the observatory, the Griffith Observatory, there's a bottle, a Capian bottle, just on the dashboard oh. going crazy. I'm going to have to watch a video of like all the Easter eggs and shit. Oh, I'm going back and I'm watching the series because now you're going to see shit that you didn't see the first time because now they're going to reference it and you're going to be like, damn, damn, okay, cool. We got to get out of here, Kyle. This has been almost two and a half hours. Yep, yep. I got a lot of editing to do. Are we rating episodes? Uh, okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to rate the four episodes, and then I want you to give me the ranking of the episodes, of all eight episodes. Okay. Uh, episode five. <clears throat> uh, episode five, I'm giving it a nine out of ten power course. Okay. Episode six, ten out of ten gulper babies. Okay. Uh, 10 out of 10 for episode 7. 10 out of 10 mouse traps for episode 7. <laughs> and then for episode 8, 10 out of 10 death call chasing an NCR soldier. 10 out of 10 on the last episode. Yeah. Death calls chasing an NCR soldier. Did you see that? Oh, God, soldier, Chuck. Oh, my God, Chuck. I... <laughs> I duh fucking thing I did. I have the I have it on my I gotta reorganize my shelf. Um I have it right there. Yep. Thank you for that again, Kyle. Um I, I go back and watch it. Do you? I love them. Really? I love it because it's like I love watching people play Fallout and it's just like <coughs> I wish my PC But what about yours? Little, I wish my PC was a little beefier because I would stream 76. I feel like that'd be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Episode 5, uh, The Past, I give 9.1 Shady Sands Craters out of 10. Uh, episode 6, which might be my favorite episode of the series. It goes between that and episode 4. I give uh, 9.8 failed, ex- failed Vault Experiments out of 10. Episode 7 is 8.9 Dogs and Nuka Cola Boxes out of 10. And episode 8, I give 9.6... Deathclaw Skulls out of 10. Do you have the ranking of your favorite episodes throughout the entire series? Uh, I don't, but it's probably between... Oh, it has to be between... 6 and 8, honestly. 6 and 8 are your favorites? Yeah. I have I have it written down right here. Um, episode 4 is my... Or for, let's do from the bottom, even though I just t- told you my favorite. From the bottom, number eight is episode three, The Head. Number seven is The Radio, episode seven. Uh, number six is episode five, The Past. Episode five is The Target, episode two. Uh, my fourth place is The Beginning, episode eight. Uh, number three, the three spot, the top three is The End, episode one. And The Trap, episode six, my second favorite, my highest Favorite and this one, like they could be interchanged. Four and six feel like they could be interchanged for me. Mm. Is the ghouls, which surprise, surprise, Vince loves the ghouls. Um, very good series. I'm very happy Your this overall. came out. I want to say like a nine four, like nine to ten nine out, four. Ten out of ten, thumbs up. Hell yeah! I didn't even give it anything yeah. fun. Uh, Nine point four. Uh, what do you mean? My dad came from over here. Mm, that doesn't sound right. Out of ten. <laughs> what do you mean? My dad wasn't born in the vault that I didn't know the lore about. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, is there anything else you'd like to say, Kyle? Before we get out of here, uh, go play Fallout. Yeah, yeah. Go play Fallout. Fallout's a beautiful if you series. Like the show, go play Fallout. What do you at this point? What do you think you like more, Elder Scrolls or Fallout? Oh, because I know you were always an Elder Scrolls guy. I do. Uh, currently, is my whole thing is now Fallout. Yep. Um, the way God intended. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know now. I don't know now. I love Oblivion. You like fantasy. I love fantasy. Yeah. I like fantasy when it's like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like, think I needed this show to like rejuvenate my love that, for Fallout. That's how I feel. Like I've always loved Fallout. Like I, I've always been like, oh, these memories yeah. are really special to me. And this has been like, no, this is really fucking special. Like this is the real yeah. deal holy field. Like this is where it's at. Yeah. So 
Thank you for joining us. If you like the show, thanks for sticking around. I've been Vince. This is... Special guest Kyle. Thank you, Papa. Uh, if you like the show and you want to know more about Fallout, like I said earlier, Atomic Radio Hour is the sister show to this. This is the sister show to that. It's a weekly Fallout podcast. Talk about lore. I make a bunch of stuff. I do a bunch of stuff. Uh, thank you for being here. I love you for being here. Thank you again to the Patreon. Thank you to the Discord. Thank you to... to you can follow me, Kyle, and the show, at least Atomic Radio Hour, on Twitter. If you use Twitter, there's links in the description below. There is a red bubble down there. Uh, I do have new shirt designs. It depends on when I get them uploaded. I'd like to get them uploaded sooner rather than later. Uh, thank you for being here. It is a very beautiful time to be a Fallout fan. I am happier and prouder than ever to be a fan of this franchise. I love you. That's all I got to say. Bye, Kyle. Bye, Kyle. Bye. Bye, everybody. See you later. Bye. Bye. This has been a production made by your friends at Goulman Entertainment.